Queen and our guest commentator of the night. And uh, this should be a mystery to you, but it's Mr. Austin Painter. My son is going to be helping us out tonight. Andy is off uh, down in Florida at the Georgia-Florida game in a little bit warmer territory down there. But uh, we're here tonight at the stadium. Fannin's coming up uh, playing the Lumpkin County Indians tonight, hoping to get our uh, next region win, Matthew. And uh, we get this region win tonight. That's going to put us in the playoff game. Yes, sir, it is. It'll be the, uh, what we just heard, 22 seasons in AAA, that is. Um, this will be the first time we make the uh, two playoffs in consecutive years. So that's going to be a big deal. Actually, and also it's going to be, if we win tonight, it's going to be uh, six wins. And we hadn't had six wins, I think, in nine, nine, nine to ten uh, years. So that's... Uh, for football history in Fannin County, there's a lot on the line tonight, and so uh, a lot to play for, and so we're super excited. It is. Yeah. And you know, it's a good night here for football. Finally, uh, fall has arrived, and it's a little bit cool in here, so we got some great football weather. And they've moved us inside at our special quest because we are so tender hearted, we needed a little bit warm. But uh, you know, while we've got just a minute here, we've got the. Uh, uh, Got sent here, just draw a blank right here. Got Mr. Henson, who's the athletic director up here at the high school, and uh, we wanted to bring him in and just talk a little bit about all the uh, sports programs here at the high school. You know, we're uh, Mr. Henson. Thank you for being here with us tonight. Certainly, I, it probably wasn't too hard for us to get you out of the cold up here in the warm, right? That's right. To walk on up here and step into it's a little bit warmer. Uh, yeah, much much uh, enjoyed. That. Well, you know, uh, and I started to call you coach because you're always a coach. Once you're a coach, you're always a coach. But uh, so I know you still answer that. But you know, now with all the sports going on at every school, there is. Back in mine and your day, there was basically three sports: there was football, baseball, basketball, and that was about it. But now we have uh, we have everything sports-wise going on. So tell us a little bit what's going on. I know basketball is just about to get cranked off, and what all else okay. we got going. Well, that's one of the things. You know, we're in that overlap where we've got our fall sports, you know, active. So we've still got, you know, football with the band and cheerleading and, and things like that going on. Um, but we've also started our uh, winter sports, so basketball is already uh, underway. Wrestling is already underway. Uh, we have eSports that is also underway. Matter of fact, eSports uh, already has played two competitions. All right, so eSports, I know what it is, but That's we it. need to let the crowd know what we have, is. We have, uh, it's our gaming. Uh, GHSA now has uh, selected eSports, electronic gaming systems, to be a competitive uh competition that we go out and face other schools, no different than any of our other sports. Um, and we have an arena that we've set up with 10, uh, you know, these gaming computers. Do, do you have to run and get in shape for that? Well, that's the thing. I will say this, uh, the hand-eye coordination that it takes, some of the things that they're doing is phenomenal. Uh, but they've already had two competitions. We play in two particular games. One of them is Rocket League, which is very much like a, it, it's, for me, it's soccer with cars in, in this arena. Um, and so we've uh, had our first competition on Thursday. And then the other one is League of Legends. That's more of a role-playing game. Again, I don't understand all the things, but they love what they're doing. They, we played Sequoia, uh, uh, you know, a big you know school. Uh, come up a little short in that competition this week. Uh, but basketball, middle school basketball, we actually have our first game on Monday. Uh, so we've got a number of uh, activities. We start uh, at the high school. Our first game is uh, November 13th, come, or November 14th. Uh, and that'll be against Murphy in a scrimmage game. Um, so we're we're in the middle of a lot of activities going on never at our a, school. Never a slow spot. Never. Well, never. the e-game, that's kind of exciting. We'll talk you know more about that later today because that, that is very exciting. And I know those kids that are a part of that are super, super intelligent. They are. Just and like me and Matthew. That, I mean, yes. very oh, similar. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Similar that. <laughs> yeah, same athletic, yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yes. Very, 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 very much. But, uh, you know, the sports, like I said, it's just always a 12-month sports. A couple things on basketball. I know, you know, we're coming in. Coach Chastain's going to be our second-year uh, head coach, coaching yes. of uh, coaching the girls' team. Girls. Absolutely. And then we got Coach, coach Brian, Brian Richardson. Richardson coming yes. in. Tell us a little bit about Richardson. Well, a little I tell history. you, he, he has a. It's it's exciting and everything what he has already done about uh, you know having his open gyms, having his four on ones, uh, getting these guys. You know the numbers uh, as we went into tryouts. 
we had 40 plus uh, trying out for our basketball teams. Yeah. So the numbers are up. There's an excitement level. They are working hard uh, in every aspect of the game. With him, uh, he has done what many of our other coaches have done. He's already been down to the rec department working with the rec programs and rec coaches. He goes down to middle school practices, helping them to make sure that they're developing. He truly sees basketball as a program versus just a it high is. school team. It is. And I'm thankful that he is uh, putting that type of energy and effort into it. And I'm excited about where they're they're going. And the boys are, are uh, buying in. They're excited. And I just, I'm looking forward to the season getting started. Well, exactly. And I've got personally got to meet Coach Richardson. I know he's going to be the uh, head golf coach up here with having two kids very active in, in golf up here. And Laney been there. So it's, he's a very personal guy and looking forward to our golf season just as soon as basketball Absolutely. gets Absolutely. Yeah, matter of fact, uh, it, it'll, it'll start before that, the overlap anymore. Uh, used to, you'd finish the season, have a week or two, take a rest and no start. Rest. No, they're, they're, the overlap is, there's weeks of, of overlap. So yeah. Well, that's great. You know, like I said, a lot of things going on here in the sports arena at Fannie County, and I know it keeps you on your toes always. That's it. And well, I uh, love doing it. So uh, it, it makes uh, things fun, passes the, the time, and I get to see these student athletes uh, going into uh, areas that they love and have are passionate about and get an opportunity to be successful, uh, you know, outside of the classroom, and uh, it's definitely a joy for me well, to do sports, you know, we've, we've sent a lot of kids uh, to the sports programs at, at different colleges. Obviously, you know, my son Austin standing behind you getting to play golf up at Truett McConnell, and uh, we've, you know, just sent a lot of kids. I know just thinking off the top of my head, we've got Grant Baker down at Point playing yes. baseball. Uh, Matter of know, fact, yeah, we've got a number of those kids. Here's the exciting part. November 13th is National Signing Day. Mm -hmm. uh, as of right now, we have six students that will be uh, in the cafeteria on November 13th to actual sign uh, national letters of intent awesome. for them in baseball. Uh, you know, we have another one that is going in softball. She's a Kelly Russell's going up to Dayton uh, co uh, College up in uh, Tennessee. And so we're just really excited about That's the great. level that we're getting because these kids are having success, and that success is allowing them to go on and, and uh, have opportunities to play at the next level. Uh, that's awesome, and that's that's what you want those kids to be able to participate at the next level. Coach, I appreciate it. Thanks Absolutely. for coming by. Uh, I know it wasn't too hard to lure you up here due to the weather, <laughs> so uh, but we appreciate it, and uh, we'll be uh, looking forward for a well, big one. Well, sounds good, and if there's uh, any moments later on as it, the temperature continues to drop, just give me a shout. I can definitely come easy, back. Easy, <laughs> easy. All right, Coach, we appreciate it. We know you got some right. you got to get to on the field, and, and as we're here, we're looking like about 21 minutes away from kickoff. You know, the band's getting down on the field. They get ready for their pregame, and both teams are actually in the uh, locker room right now getting ready for a little pregame. But before we do that, actually, we want to hit a few of our sponsors, and we're going to have another special guest right here with us here in just a minute, uh, and we're going to talk about some of the rec football, and I think we're going to have uh, Mr. Timmy Tao, but we want to go over some of our sponsors here, and, and uh, you know, it's easy to get Miss Laney Painter in here on the mic as well. So, Laney, take it away. Uh, our sponsors this year are Blue Jeans Pizza, Blue Ridge Barbershop, Blue Ridge Coin Shop, Gracie Barra, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Brotherhood Oil, CrossFit 30513, Fan and Empty Stocking, ETC Security, Fan and Regional Hospital, Kevin Painter Insurance, Kiwanis Club Blue Ridge, Mercier's Orchards, Brian Tesserera Realty, Nathan Fitz, Susan DuPont, Steve Tucker Realty, Super Clean Car Wash, Swan Driving, Town and Country Furniture, Trailer Driving, Tri State EMC, True Fitness Georgia, and United Community Bank. Awesome job, Miss Laney. We appreciate that. And without these fine folks helping out the uh, uh, the school up here, you know, this radio program uh, and all the stuff that the, the audio and video program under the guidance of Mr. Gibbs, who does a tremendous job. We got to these kids running around in here that's doing the video, doing the audio. I know nothing about this. Me and Matthew know how to maybe turn a switch on is about the extent. I don't even know if I could do that, KP. Well, I understand, but you know, they, they at least we look smart enough to be yes, able to do Yes, we that. do. But hey, just before things get going, we've, uh, we're fortunate enough to have Mr. Timmy Tao. Timmy's one of the rec directors out at our local uh, Fannie County rec department, a man where things are always going out there under the direction of Mr. Eddie O'Neill. Got a lot of activities going. We just want to touch on them a minute. I know we Got, we've had some great success with some of the rec football programs. Yeah, actually, we've got uh, three teams playing in the Mountain Football League semifinals tomorrow. We've got our 8U team led by head coach Brandon Mathis, uh, who's only lost one game this year. Awesome. Um, they're playing uh, White County tomorrow. Um, our 9U team led by Ryan Holloway, who's there on the sidelines right now, um, they are playing uh, – I'm saying – I think they play White County yes, as well. Yes, that is correct. And uh, – 
our 10U team uh, is actually playing tomorrow. They play here at uh, at four o'clock, I believe, is the game time, and they'll play Chess T tomorrow. They're actually tied. For, they were they finished the season tied for first in a three-way tie. So, uh, but but other than that, it's not about wins and losses. We've every team that we had this year uh, improved and got better, and and most of the kids had a great time. And I, I see a bunch of them kids coming back, and that's the main thing we try to build at the rec level. Is you know, you know, wins and great win, wins wins are great, but the main thing is we keep these kids coming back, and. Uh, that's, and they enjoy football, and for the most part, I think them kids are doing that, which is really good for us. So, so uh, Tim, tell me real quick about that 11U team. Their coach and their staff, they, they assembled to uh, get a – get a, they got their first win in uh, a couple of years, right? Yes, uh, yes, our 11U <laughs> football team. Led who, by, who was the head coach? Led by head coach John Spargo. Spargo? Uh, <laughs> Spargo. Wait, he, did he have an assistant coach? <laughs> he did. Uh, that, 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 that assistant is not going to be named on this broadcast. <laughs> oh, really? No, uh, we can go no, ahead and dig that one no, out. No, I, uh, I, I – wait, I know. It has to be a good, good as it because Margo no, hey, is not that smart. No, hey, we I, we had a great time. These kids uh, had never won a football game up until this year. They played four or five years together, and uh, I've seen the, that. they uh, they didn't. There really wasn't a lot of people that stepped up to coach the team, and we were fortunate. You know, at the first, Eddie Eddie asked us to, and I'll be like, man, that's a that's a lot of time. I'll be honest with you, that's I don't know if I want to do that. But the kids were great, and uh, they meant more to me than, than I'm sure we meant to them. If you so, ever want to challenge yourself, go go coach some youth sports. Exactly. Uh, because exactly. you get to deal with not only the kids and, and teaching those kids and loving those kids, but dealing with the parents is a <laughs> exactly. whole new level. Exactly. I mean, if that will not test your skill level in anything. They, 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 but, but we had a good, we had a good group, a good group of parents, good group of kids. And, uh, you know, it was good for them to get that win, and hopefully they'll uh... – it's, it's good to see them, though. I, I, my daughter's in a, a different area in rec, uh, the rec field up there. But it's also – there's so many running components. you got not just the football, the cheerleaders. Correct. Are you all doing that as well? And over, in, in order, yes, I mean, there's so many moving parts to that, and you all do an outstanding job. We've got we've got three cheerleading squads, and uh, they, they, they put in just as much work as the football kids. Uh, trust me, they, they practice every day. Um, perfecting them halftime dances and perfecting their cheers during the game, and they, uh, they you know, I've they, seen a few. They, uh, they do it. They do a good job. Uh, that's awesome. Well, like I said, you know what makes these programs at the high school successful are is when they started. Just as uh, Mr. Henson was talking about a minute ago, when you get those kids buying at that younger level, you know we're talking middle school, but it does. It starts at rec, especially especially at the football level. Yes. You just don't bring a kid in. We're we're a true. Uh, the thing about football is we're a true feeder program into the high school. Absolutely. We are a true feeder program, and we uh, we've got some great coaches. I, I, I actually want to give our guys a shout out. Six U is T.J. Ross, seven U is Jason Woody, eight U is Brandon Mathis, nine U is Ryan Holloway, ten U is Chad Bailey, eleven U is John Spargo. Of course, they have assistant coaches, but them guys do such a good job, All right. and uh, we uh, we're very fortunate to have them. All right, before I let you get away, I do want to commend you. I know you get to call a lot of uh, college baseball. You've been very successful and done a great job of uh, upping your game, getting out of here. And I know I've seen. You call for some games at the Chattanooga Lookouts. Tell us briefly what's going on in that world for you. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm just like anybody. You know, I want to keep on climbing the ladder. You know, my goal is in college baseball is to get into the SEC and umpiring. And I'm, uh, you know, if I don't uh, mess it up, I've got a really good chance. So uh, that's don't that's mess kinda, it up. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't mess it up. Mess it up. Don't blow the call. There we yeah, go. Don't fall in the infield. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Don't break. Well, the good luck to all that. I know uh, you work at it hard and uh, you put your heart and soul into it so we wish you all the best of luck of that I appreciate and it, appreciate yeah. all the work you do at the recreation department that's uh, I know uh, a lot of those jobs add many hours when you put the pencil to it and the dollars and cents it comes out pennies on the hour what you make <laughs> it does. I know. It but does. We, we appreciate you and keeping all that going but uh, so you come back and join us anytime I know you got to get away over there and get on the other side and get some stuff going we've got another special guest coming in here in a minute but uh, before we get to Miss Lauren Hunter with uh, Fetcher News here a minute we're going to talk a little bit Matthew uh, we need to be talking about the game tonight. And so what we got in here tonight, we got the Fannin Rebels coming in here five and three, looking for a big region win and playing the uh, playing Lumpkin County. Lumpkin just a short drive across. And uh, so, uh, you know, L Lumpkin has suffered a lot this year. They're, one, you know, one and eight. Seven. They're one, one and seven. seven. One and yes. seven. They had a, uh, unfortunately, had a big loss last week at uh, North Hall. And uh, so, you know, they're struggling. You hate to see a, a program like that, but uh, certainly the Rebels are not going to take no pity on them. I don't. No, I, it's going to it's going to be a competitive game. I think you know, uh, like I was saying earlier, I don't know if my mic was working properly, but there's a lot riding on this game for the Rebels. There, there's so much coming in. We're at 
coming in at five and three. We hadn't been five and three in a long time. Yeah. Oh, you're good. Keep going. I was just getting one of the attention. Uh, oh, five, okay. Five and yeah. three in the yeah, significance. Five, of yeah, that. big game here. Obviously, um, win this game, we'll be in the playoffs, and uh, we'll we'll get to go to the first round. That'll be two consecutive years. And again, um, we hadn't had a winning season since I think it was nine to ten years ago. So that that's a uh, that that's a lot on the line. And I'm excited about these. The guys are excited. We've had a lot of yeah. sickness and yeah. and health issues yeah. through the year. We didn't know uh, until this week um, Mosley might have been out. Uh, he was there was a scare that he might be sick, but he's back and ready to go. And so we're we're excited. We still have some key foot guys out tonight. Yeah, no, we got Jalen still out. Cahuta's out. Um, is Cahuta definitely? Yeah, out? I know and, it was uh, a game time decision. Uh, yeah, he didn't dress. I don't even know. If, I guess that would mean he was out. Yeah, in case in Owensby, <laughs> we lost him, and uh, so he he's a he's a great defensive guy. And yeah. so we're 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 we're, we're, we're s just moving guys around, and hopefully it will be. Um, it's got to be, be a next good next man up. Exactly, next man up, exactly. And you know, Lovkin has a new coaching staff this year. They're going to more of the spread, I think. And so um, we'll we'll see how the night goes. Yeah, well, that's looking forward to that. As our Fanning County High School band is taking the field out there for a little pregame, we always enjoy and uh, su their support. And obviously, you know, Rebels coming off a unfortunately coming off a loss last week at Dawson. I know I traveled over to the game. Uh, don't know if you were there or not. No, but, I, I but, did uh, not go to that. You one. know, it was a tough game to be at. Uh, you know. 51 to 7 I think was a final but you know it um, it started out we played with them for a little bit but you could really tell our key injury folks being out of that game how that affected yeah, and these guys practice as a unit for months at a time and when they go down and then you know in the area we play we don't have a large um, backup pool you know you know we, we're, we're spread thin yep. and you know we took a beaten um, you know North Hall they came in and put it to us as well and you know uh, two consecutive losses but the thing about it is we, we can't get down because we we got to remember we are five and three five with and a chance three. to go to the playoffs. Absolutely, and I think it's been uh, again. It, there's only maybe two to three times. Maybe this will be the third time in school history to be consecutive uh, playoff appearances. That's so right. uh, there, there's a lot going on here. Well, you know, you got to build a program. You build it stick by stick. You don't start all at once. And Coach Cheatham's done a great job coming in here, getting these getting these kids motivated and stuff. And speaking of that, while we've got uh, the opportunity before we get going, got uh, we're luckily to have Miss Lauren Hunter with. Uh, Fetcher News. She's the sports director over there. She's joining in with us here for a minute. Lauren, welcome. Thank, Thank you. Thanks for being here with us tonight. I know we're just throwing you into the spot. We have <laughs> nothing planned to talk about, but I know we're going to talk about a lot. So tell us a little bit about what you do over there at Fetcher News. So like you said, I am the sports director, and my first and foremost priority is to cover the Lumpkin County Indians. I tell people wherever they go, I go. Lauren, I'm going to interrupt you just a minute. We're uh, out of respect for our country. We're going to take just a moment here as we get ready for the uh, national anthem just a second. Now please remain standing and remove your hats as we honor our great nation by playing our national anthem by the Vanity County High School Marching Band. Well, 
Great job by the Fannie County Band on the national anthem there. And the crowd continues to get in the stadium. You know, I was a little worried tonight with it being cold, how many folks we'd out, have out here. But uh, we've got a good good crowd here seeing the Rebels. So, Lauren, hated to interrupt you, bring you oh, in, no and just problem. cut you right off. But no, keep going. Fine. Tell us all what, what you do over there. Right. So, like I was saying, my first priority is I cover the Lumpkin County Indians football team. Wherever they go, I go. So, tonight it is in Blue Ridge. And also, on top of that, I oversee a team of six reporters now, seven including myself. So last season we had about four counties at Fetch that we covered the football teams and this year we expanded that to a total of seven. So I have to make sure each night that everybody's where they're supposed to be and if they have any questions that I'm able to be available and answer those questions. So yeah. it's a really good time. I really well, enjoyed good. it. I think Reagan Young, I believe Reagan. She is. She's our fan and, fan yeah. and reporter. She does a great job. Her mom works for me so I know she's always at the games. She was on the job last week at Dawson. Yes. I can vouch for that. Yes. So. I could, I could <laughs> she does she an awesome there. job. I really I appreciate Reagan. I appreciate all of our sports reporters as yeah. well. They do an awesome job. Well, like I said, you know, in this little region here, this little mountain region, we got the, you know, five or six teams that everybody um, has here. So it's always important, and y'all are, you know, kind of a regional news source to, to be able to cover all that. So we appreciate all the great job you do and keeping uh, the new, the sports in front of, of all the folks and, and also recognize those kids. I know y'all do a lot of special features and stuff on that. We do. That's what we're always about. Our tagline is always highlighting and promoting young athletes in a positive way and that's number one priority for us as an organization is to highlight the kids. All right. Well, so, awesome. uh, Laura, before you go, do you got any uh, inside to Lumpkin County since you cover them all the time? So I will say this about Lumpkin County and it's not so much a like football thing as it is just an overall theme of the team. You know, they got a new head coach this year, head coach Caleb Sorrell's entirely new coaching staff and one thing that I've always noticed about them is each game they come out and they're looking for a win. They come out determined. They're running some different plays. They've also got some guys hurt, unfortunately. So they're trying out some different things with the end of the region play. So sure. they're they're always they're always coming out ready to play hard though, regardless. Well you know we're still not gonna take it easy on them. Well I wouldn't I wouldn't <laughs> I expect it. And I don't think they would expect <laughs> no, it either. Absolutely. Uh, no, no, that's good. You know it's always good uh, good to have that little that little um, grudge I guess going wanting to win. And we got gotta be careful we got the Lumpkin County coaches right in here next to us, and they're pretty big old boys. Yeah, we I, don't, heard, we don't I saw wanna, them come in. I yeah, thought, I was oh, like, they know man, me. they're sneaking in they, here behind <laughs> us. We got to be nice. They'll be jumping on us over here. He's a big old boy. A little bit of pizza on the hand, too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, that's exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, Lauren, thanks for uh, stopping in for us a minute. I know you got to go me. get your job and start covering. Are you going to be in the cold or inside tonight? Uh, I'll be a little, <laughs> I'll be a little, little bit, a little bit of everywhere. Uh, I won't lie. On the games that I haven't had to cover Lumpkin on their bye weeks, I've been where Fannin has been. So uh, if that tells you anything. Now, where do you live? I live in Dahlonega. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Good deal. Well, again, thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. And, uh, you know, stop by. And we'll be here next week. You may be sneaking around here. Uh, I so might. You never know. We'll see you. Well, thanks again. Well, Thank we're you. just about uh, six minutes here away from kickoff here tonight. And uh, the Rebel Band's still out there. The team's be coming out. Matter of fact, just as I speak that, here comes the here comes the captains coming uh, coming around the corner. So uh, we got them coming in uh, here. Matthew, let's talk a few important things tonight. I may have mentioned a little bit earlier, but you know, a couple things can happen here tonight. Um, and I do want to tell you, hey, if you're uh, listening in to us tonight and you want to check in, you know, you can go to FanninRebelTV.com. FanninRebelTV.com. You'll see a little button right there. Once you get to that browser, you can click on that link, and it's going to take you to the live feed here tonight. We're also, our audio is being covered on ETC. Uh, so, you know, we're, uh, Matthew, yes, Austin, sir. we're stepping up. We're, we're getting really famous at all this. we got everybody wanting our, our feed on here tonight, and at least we can think that anyway. Yeah, I, I but, think that's a good way to go about yeah. it. Think that. Yeah, if you can't, you know, if you can't talk good about, you know, if nobody else is talking good about you, we'll talk about ourselves. Yeah. That's the way we'll do it. I feel kind of, you know, like uh, I need to step between y'all and be like a, a painter sandwich or something. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, we'll or y'all need to adopt me one. So, just so we can have a uh, trifecta here. Oh, well, like I said, you know, with Andy being away tonight, it's going to be Austin's job. He's going to, he, he can jump in at any point in time. I told him, I said, your duty tonight is try to help us cover those tackles. Me and you are always yapping. So, we yes. miss a lot 
lot. But anytime you see something you miss, you hop right in there. But no, it is uh, these students here are doing a great job. Now we've we switched our technology a little bit this year on audio. Y'all know we've had a lot of struggles sometimes. The last game I was here, I missed a game. The last game I was here, we were out there in about 50 mile an hour wind. Yes. Uh, tonight you can actually hear us, I believe. We're inside, got a good controlled environment. And so uh, we have to be careful every little word we say. Exactly. We do have the window open. And, you know, I like being inside because it's warm, but sh there's, you know, that outside. You're right there uh, just like you're a fan in the stands. Yes, exactly. It's I think it was a wise choice to choose inside tonight. And um, I'm in short sleeves. So short that, sleeve yeah. it is. Yeah, it was a good night to pick that inside. So uh, we're going to, you know, break Austin in tonight. It's going to be his first official game. He's going to get paid just as much as we did. That's right. What, Getting well taken care of. Well, well taken care well of. Taken exactly. Care of. Well, exactly. Well, I see, uh, see some rebels hurtling in under the tunnel. You know, we got that huge, big blue and gray tunnel that our football team runs through. So they'll be coming out here in a minute. But a couple, I was going to get back to a couple important things tonight. Some things can happen tonight that would be very cool here in our own stadium tonight. Uh, Traylon Ornsby, uh, he just needs 162 yards uh, to get to a thousand yard rushing season. So that, that would be a huge thing to be able to do that. I know we had, I don't know exactly how many yards he had last year, but that's anytime you can get close to that uh, thousand yard mark, you're, you're, you're running the ball. Well, pretty good. I can tell you from a career standpoint, he's just a few yards away from 2000 career. So he, he's doing very well then doing very well. Traylon runs hard. Uh, you know, he, uh, he, last year he was a little bit lackluster. I made that comment. He did. I don't think he ran as hard last year uh, as he had a little bit at the end of the year previously. Sure. And so, but this year he is running very, very hard. And uh, as our captains out there tonight, help me out here. I see big Miles Johnson. We got Miles captains. Johnson, Jackson Weeks, 54, 12 is Luke Holloway, and 35 is Will Mosley. Will Mosley is going to be our captains as they're going out. And Austin, you, as we're talking, you make sure we find out who gets to flip because me and Matthew just gets talking and we get off on a tangent. And there we go. Uh, Another big loss for Lumpkin County is um, one of their captains is number 85. He, he is a great player. Uh, I think they lost him last week, so he'll be out tonight. Big, big kid. Yeah, so. he's over 200, uh, over 200 pounds, I think. Uh, let's see. I was looking at that. Uh, Earlier here, 6'5", 235. 235. He's 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 bigger than me. The only he, he problem played, is he's yeah. got about six eight inches on me. <laughs> well, he <laughs> that is true. So uh, I guess uh, the the Lumpkin Indians are going to call the toss here. Uh, that's what it looks like. So it looks like they've let's see who's going to win the toss here. The coins up. It's like they have they won the toss, but they declined. So uh, Rebels going to assume get yep, the ball here. Yeah, going to get the ball. It's like Lumpkin's going to be kicking to the. Are we going to consider that the west end of the stadium, or we consider that the north end of the stadium? Uh, you're a, throwed, you're way above my. I throwed throw Joe into a loop right there, didn't we? Let's figure that out. Let's pull out the yeah, old we'll compass have to pull here out and right see there. what happens. So, so it looks like uh, yeah. So our captain's uh, going to be running back in to run out with all the guys, and it's always cool. You know, for these seniors, they're coming down to their last two games. A lot of these kids, and you don't realize. I know men you formerly playing here. You don't realize. You know, you start your season, your senior year, and you don't think about. Man, this may be the last time. This could be the last time. Uh, every time these kids are out there, you know, one little hit, one little injury, and it could be their last time playing. But they are winding down on that. Yes, they're definitely winding um, winding down. And it's the thing, you know, they've definitely got a home game next week against yep. GAC. And so uh, that will be the last home <laughs> game um, this year. Well, just uh, as the Rebels coming out on the field, coming across and uh, led it by our cheerleaders and uh, going to get to the side, we're going to get this thing under way here in just a minute but uh, Austin what are you thinking here tonight uh, I think this would be a great win uh, for the Phantom Rebels um, you're calling it a win already I like that yeah I like I think they I mean we got to go that way yeah that's what <laughs> I think it'd be a great win on homecoming night I'd like to see them go out and play hard and uh, execute everything they practice they went over and practice this week you, good, yeah good point it is homecoming, homecoming I, that's exactly I, we sitting here knew it and hadn't even mentioned anything and we leave it to our brand new uh, guest announcer and he brings out the best in us right there, Matthew, but but it is homecoming, so we will have a delayed halftime, you know, with the uh, 
with the live feed tonight with ETC and all, we will just, uh, you'll be covering, you'll be hearing just the, live, the, the feed in the center. So as the Rebels are coming out on the receiving team, you're going to see uh, out there. And, and we talked a little bit about our injuries. I know Cahutta is not in the game tonight, so it's like we're going to have Carson Beavers. And Andre Bevins. And Andre Bevins back in there. And in the Tra middle. Traylon's uh, going to be right in front of them. He'll probably uh, scoop anything up. And so, uh, like, again, like you said, we've replaced guys. And so everybody's kind of in a yep. new new position yeah, here. Exactly. Do you know, and you may not know, Matthew, who, who is uh, filling in for Bundy at, at tackle? That is a great question because it's changed from last yeah. week. And so I'm, I'm anxious to see exactly who it is. We'll to see. Um, I, at one point I saw where Miles had switched around to the right side. Mm -hmm. And then uh, last week I think Micah had switched out to right tackle and they had got a left guard. So I'm anxious to see exactly how, and we'll get that straightened out yep. just a matter of right seconds here. So here. Lumpkin County's fixing to put the ball in the air. We're going to get the kickoff. Oh, oh, a little, onside. A little, a little pooch onside and going to go out of bounds. We're going to get great field position right there. Uh, they they did a little switch right there. For those of you who are getting to see it uh, live, obviously you've seen their kickers do a little crisscross there and tried to throw us off, but uh, the ball went out of bounds. The Rebels going to get great field position taking over here. Yeah, and I'm anxious to see. It looks like uh, Rico is a right tackle. Um, and uh, I, I'm, I mean, I say Rico, and I, it's – that's all I know him by. So, in, anyways, uh, he, it looks like Miles is left tackle, and then we got Jackson's at two weeks at left guard. Um, well, here we go. Yes, the that's Rebels, how it is. Rebels going to have the ball on the 40. They're going to be on the right-hand hash here as we get this uh, underway. Looks like Holloway's going to come up underneath center. We're in an eye formation. Uh, going to have Mosley. Looks like we almost had a false start right there for a second. But Traylon's fighting. The ball was hand off. That was a mix-up right there. No, yeah, there was definitely a miss-up miss up because some moved on the snap and yeah. some didn't. So yeah. there was an unclear um, what, what we're yeah, going we're gonna, on, we're one or two. Lose, yeah, we're going to lose a yard on that. So the ball is going to be marked back to the 39 yard line. Yeah, we, I guess you could say we just wasn't firing on all cylinders. Definitely right not firing on. A little, little misfire. A little misfire right there. So, all right, we got, here we are coming back up. Holloway's going to be back up underneath center here. We got two, two wide outs here on the left. Holloway's going to do a quick toss, get it to Traylon. Traylon's got room on the left. He's got a big hole, gets over the 50 down to about the 45 before they bring it down. And that's what we need tonight out of Traylon. We can get him going, picked up the first down, get him going. I mean, it's going to make tonight a lot easier. Easier if he if he keeps running exactly. Hey, I want to remind you, you know, uh, Fan and Rebel TV. You can get there and watch this feed live, or you can go straight to YouTube and Google Fan and Rebel Football, and it's going to bring it up. You can click it on. You can actually interact with this right here. There's a live chat open, so we'll be watching for uh, comments and stuff. We may even get some out of Andy. So here we go. Rebels first down on the uh, Indians 45. We're going to a handoff to Trailer. It's going to get room a little bit more on the left and pound. Yeah, it gets up to Almost about. got a horse collar tackle yeah, right we did. there. He, he, was, to, he I was, was pulling. I was trying to see what was going on right there. So we get the ball down to the 35. Another so first down. Another first down. We're moving the sticks. What do you think about it, Austin? Hey, they're moving the ball good. The offensive line's opening up a lot of holes for trailing to get through. And could be a good night ahead for them. Austin, I want you to keep your eye on something right here. See if we're, we may be running to the power side of Miles. They, uh, they may be flip-flopping him a little bit. So keep an eye and see if we can pick anything. So here we got trips oh, out on the right. Got some movement right there. Let's see who it's going to be on. It's going to be encroachment. Yes. Uh, yep, encroachment on the defense. That's good. Rebels going to pick up five. Uh, that's so tough for an offensive lineman. You, you, right there, you get pounded sometimes. I know. Uh, the center uh, there got got pushed back into Luke, and um, I'm looking for his name. I know his nickname, and I don't know if I. <laughs> I was I was glad. I was afraid we we moved there for a minute. So 10 minutes, 38 seconds, no score here at the Rebel Stadium. Holloway's coming back underneath center. We only got one back. Got Mosley. Going to hand off to Mosley. He's going to probably he got wrapped up quickly. Uh, the hole closed as quick as it it opened there. We're yeah. going to lose a yard. I Sophomore think. Dylan Collins is playing center tonight. All right, Dylan Collins. You know, like I said, with these injuries, you've uh, we've got people shuffled around a lot in there. So. Uh, We'll just have to keep fresh bodies and, and keep pushing the ball down. So, Rebels inside the Indian territory. Ball is going to be on the 31 of the Indians, and Rebels driving the ball. Been very impressive so far. We're back in our eye formation. Holloway under center. He's going to hand off to Traylon. Traylon left side again. Big hole. He's over 30-20. He's, yep. he's, he's going to be in the end zone. Yes. Touchdown. There we go. Six points. Traylon Ornsby. No wow. flags. No flag. He, I thought they were going to push him out of right there at five for a second, but he was able to 
get in. So Very good. This has been trailing, 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 trailing mostly trailing. I like and it. Touchdown. I like it. Left that's side. What we need. Left yeah, side. Yeah. Fannin, Fannin's definitely favoring the side of Miles Johnson. Well, that's field. if I was up there running, that's who I'd be favoring. I'd be following the beef, and the that beef. is mine. So Miss Sarah Sos be in to attempt the extra point. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think she's 100 percent. And she is going to continue that streak of 100%. I don't think I don't think she's missed any this year. She's been very very consistent. Uh, you know we did have a change in uh, kicker. She's going to be kicking off too. Is she kicking off? Well, great. Mm -hmm. Well, 10 minutes on the dot in the first quarter. Rebels take the lead, seven to nothing. So that here. took two minutes to get in the end zone. That's very good. Two minutes. Yeah, so, yeah, two minutes. Start at 12. Minutes. Yeah. yeah, 12 minutes. Thank well, you, Austin. What you like? I'm Thank glad you're here. That's why I got you. Because he would have convinced hey. me that I'm wrong, no, and I've been I, like, no. It's 15. I knew all this. I was <laughs> testing y'all. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I thank you. <laughs> hey, yeah, Miss Sarah is going to be kicking off. Well, that's good. Hey, the band down here, they're all excited, jumping up and down. And uh, I don't know if they're jumping up and down because it's cold or they're excited or both. Could, could be both. Could be both. Yeah. Could be both. So, uh, yeah, so, yeah, Sarah's, you know, uh, has not been kicking off. Uh, our kicker, you know, they had a change in kicking a couple games ago. I know Cahuta kicked off a little bit before he got hurt. I think maybe Jay and kicked off a little bit before he got so, yeah. so but here's what's unique you watch Sarah as soon as she kicks off she picks up that tee she, if that ball uh, if, if the ball the runner comes by her she's, she's instructed to let them go excel I'm going to tell you something here man. so she kind of a pooch kick it gets up oh, they're going to take good. it on the 30 we cover it pretty good going to bring them down about to 35 so we're going to stop ref's going to stop the play to prevent anybody who gets hurt but she uh, she kicked that ball it never got you you know, and that's the intent. They're just trying to squib kick it. She's not trying to kick it deep, but it was kind of funny us at Dawson last week and her dad, uh, Mike Sosby, and um, me and Mike played football together. I said, Sos, what, what are you doing? Are you going to let her tackle? And she goes, they told her not to, but I told her to tackle. <laughs> so we'll just see. But, we'll uh, see what happens there. Hey, if she's out on that field, she's tough. I know she's tough. She's oh, yeah, a, she is. Uh, another quick change we got. We got JoJo out here on the left corner. Andre's moved to safety, and we got uh, – Carson on the uh, other corner. In yeah, the so back. here we got Kirk, number seven. He he leads the troops for the Indians over there. He's going to take the ball and try to get around the right hand side. A little quarterback sneak, and he gets a couple yards. Gets Mercer up. with a tackle there. Big Mercer. Mm -hmm. All right. The so defensive end followed the play from behind and made the tackle. So they're going to spot the ball about the 37 yard line. So pick up about two for the Indians. So we'll bring up second and eight. Another big play for a uh, player for the Rebels on the D line is the nose guard, Logan Long, freshman. And uh, he, he's he's starting tonight. Hey, you know, anytime you get those freshmen in the game, and, and get, God, that just pays dividends down the road. So here we go. We go second and eight. Indians got a wide out on each side. They bring their back up. They're going to, oh, we got a flag, but the handoff, I think it's going to be a dead ball right there. They're going to bring it back. Fault now, start. A little fault start on them. Now, Dowdy, number 35, he is uh, really their workhorse uh, at running back. Um, you know, unfortunately, and I, you know, they've had a struggle this year. That he's, uh, I think he's got about over 300 yards. Uh, they've not had a whole lot of offense, mm -mm. Uh, but they're running. They switched, you know, with new coaches. They switched. Yeah, got a new spread. system. Yep, that's 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 a big learning curve. We were fortunate last year with Cheatham coming in and a new system, but the kids picked up on it real real quick. So here we let's see what we got here. We've got a, some type of official timeout. Let's see what it is. Hmm. I don't know. They're kind of just sitting there looking at Maybe each other. Maybe he's just hungry. Maybe they heard about the yeah. specials at Dairy Queen or something, too. Could be. We got. I don't huh. know if anybody. Yeah, I don't think they know what they're doing either. Uh, they're trying to figure it out. Well, the ref. They're, tr they're trying to figure out where the ball is supposed to be marked. They you marked know, something, something I learned uh, last week in, in talking with, uh, actually talking with Tracy Holloway. Tracy and them are on the chains over there. There is no longer a spot mid mid it's always going to one of the lines hashes hashes it's not yeah and i'll tell you a little more about that as kirk takes the ball hands off to dowdy 35 tries to get the left and there's no hole we clog up that hole they didn't even get back to the original line of scrimmage so that's going to bring up third down for them but yeah i think it's new georgia high school if i'm if i'm there's correct several, 
all new Georgia high school yeah. rules this they, year. You know, if it's between the between, you know, if it's at 32 and a half, it's either going to go to the 32 or the 33. And so I don't know, you know. Well, how do you do? That, I don't know. That's, that's a big, you know, you add up a half here and a quarter there. That can be yeah, a lot of that's yards. So that's so the end of big third yeah. down. Big huh. third down here for the uh, for the Rebels. If we need a good defensive stop here, Kirk back to throw. He's got a guy open and ball's going to fall incomplete out here. They tried to get the ball to number 12. Yeah, incomplete brings up fourth down. Another big uh, player we got back for us that was gone um, was um, Campbell Constantino. Kaz is back with us tonight, and so uh, he had a family emergency up north, and um, he right. was gone, and so he's yeah, back with us now. I think he didn't he have to suddenly kind of leave him before Yeah, game or yeah, something? yeah. His grandmother passed away. Oh. So, um, anyways, that, that's hard to do, but he's back on the field tonight as well. well good deal. So the Panthers are going to be a Panthers. Look at it, man. Indians. God, Indians. Indians. Kurt, the quarterback, is going to be back in the punting position. He's going to get the punt off. Kind of an end, a little squabbly. Oh. We're going to let it go. JoJo's going to let it go by, and it's going to come down about the 25, 24, rolling about 23 for the Indians. Mark it down. So You could almost say that would be the one to kind of fair catch. I mean, I know you're in the heat of the moment there, so uh, we can sit here like we always do and say, Arm hey, chair, catch that. Quarterbacks, yeah. yeah, we're really good at that, but, yeah. um, you know, that would have saved some yardage there. But, hey, with the way Traylon's running, let's yep. run. Well, you know, when you're sitting back there and that ball's coming, it's easy to say, yeah, I'd have picked that thing up. But you know – most of the time, the second they touch it, you know what's about to happen. You're gonna get hit. somebody's gonna try to put their helmet in your ear hole. Mm -hmm. That's what normally what happens. All right, so Rebels gonna take over first, and I started to say the yard marker. They already had us gaining a yard over there. So Holloway's under center. Looks like I think Traylon's gonna be in the backfield. We got a man coming in motion. Gonna hand off around the corner. We gotta, Reese. Uh, got to get the ball to Reese. He's gonna get drugged down. We had one blocker out there, but they got a hold of his jersey and he couldn't get loose. Couldn't stretch it out there. So. Reese Reese was running a little, little end around jet right there and just couldn't get loose. So we got, well, what did we get? A couple yard, yards. A couple <laughs> yards. Yard. Yard. It was really only a yard and a quarter. They marked it up to two. And the, that's a good. You, I didn't that, know that. That fascinates me, Look, though. that's probably the only thing in my life that Tracy Holloway's taught me. I don't know if that's good or bad, but that's the only so thing. So if you need a. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to I'm processing Luke Holloway that. under hands off the trailer. Traylon's got that big hole. He he got you know they he got about three yards right there. They got a hand on him and he was able to pull away, jerk away and get get loose right there. Uh, that's the thing, Traylon. We talked about this early on in the season. His yards after contact is really amazing as a, as a runner. He takes a hit and but, but he doesn't go down. Typically, he does not go down. So he uh, he's a great runner. Keeps That's his cool. balance and goes. We'll bring up about third and five. We got eight minutes, one second to go here in the first quarter. And a cool night in Blue Ridge. So the ball's on the 29. Holloway's under shotgun. He's going to take it himself. Try to get. He's picking his hole and gets up. Gets three to four yards. Going to be close to the first. According to the other side, we got him. They're waving them up. First down. Oh, there we go. First down. Luke just barely got up, and that was a, a good move. Uh, another thing, you know, Holloway tonight uh, is he can go 1,500 yards pass, and he's, I think, 1,300 and something yards, if I, information was correct. I was looking. Yeah, that's a little bit more than I had, I think. Well, how about 1,219? Yeah. <laughs> well, I knew it was somewhere close enough. Somewhere there. Hey, you, you know, 10 what's years a, from there, 12, 1,500, hey, let's a say yard, 1,600. If a yard's not important to them, what's 100 yards to, to it's that? Nothing. So Holloway's back under center, first down. Eye formation is going to fake the trailing. He's looking wide to throw. Open. He's got a guy wide open right there. Who is it? That's Reese. Reese. Got the ball to Reese, and Reese going to have a big first down inside Indian territory down to the 36-yard line. He that, was wide open. He was wide open that play fast action really get sucked those guys up and, and you know wow. Reese he's a sophomore he is a big kid and he's, yeah. he's a great athletic kid look I could have caught that he I, had he uh, had 10 yards uh, oh <laughs> oh that, that, yeah he was wide open so um, well you know you can say uh, a good receiver finds ways to get open so all credit to Mr. Reese right there very good so play. big first down for the Rebels balls inside in territory we're threatening again Holloway's under center big eye formation here Mosley Hornsby going to hand off to Traylon. Big hole. Oh. Look out. He's 10, 20, 15. Get down to 15, 10. He's cutting to the corner. He's going all the way in the end zone. Awesome. And he fell right in the end zone. But great run, Traylon. Wow. That's awesome. Wide that was, open hole. He was. Uh, I seen, you know, the angle we're at here, we had great line on that. And you could see he had his two yards. Traylon's so mobile. He can get a yard one way or the other. So quick. Oh, yeah. He, he he does. That was a great run. I mean, it looks like he he's – 
He's closing in on 100 right now, or is that right? Uh, you keeping up with that? He has to be close to 100. Yeah. Sure. Thank you, Austin. Where did y'all – he's maybe about 80. I ain't no, he, I'd say 101. I'm going to have to get uh, – so the extra point attempt, and Miss Sosby's up, and it's going to be good. Rebels take a big lead here in the first quarter with six minutes, 41 seconds to go. Excellent. Rebels take the lead. So, hey, our offense come out and doing very, very, very well. Rolling the ball efficiently. Yeah, the very Rebels are moving the ball with ease right now. The offensive line's really opening up the holes for the uh, trailing back there. Yes. Well, and that's, that's, what we, that's what we need. Again, we want to remind you to listen to us tonight on 92.7 WXFC LP. Some of you are listening to us on ETC tonight. We're glad to have them partner. You know, having them on board tonight got us some warm temperatures in this room. Yes, sir. If they're here filming live, we get kicked out and we're the stepchild and get to go out underneath <laughs> the canopy. So, uh, we're glad they're not here. We're just doing their job for them tonight. And of oh, course, yeah. Fanny Rebel TV, that's going to take you to a quick link to YouTube. And let me tell you something, the quality, I'm sitting here watching, watching the game and it's almost in real time. We're maybe trailing a few seconds, but certainly check us out live there on Fanny Rebel TV as Miss Sosby gets lined up here. Rebel's going to be kicking off. Let's see what we. Yeah, here we go. She's going to get the kick, and it's going to be almost oh. ideal. Oh, she got that good bounce. They're going to take it on the 30. Got a guy trying to get down and get covered. They got a little hole, get across the 40, up to about the 42, 43-yard line. The Indians, pretty good little return right there that uh, he got 12 yards on that return. And so the Indians are going to bring out the offense. Here we go. Hopefully the defense will continue uh, to hold strong. Um, you know, Austin, it, see if you can get our numbers here across the front on the line here. Let's see. I see we got number 80. 80. That's Dalton Ross, Logan Long, and Tuggle, number six. Tuggle. Now, Tuggle is, uh, if I'm information is correct, he is he's our leading tackle. He's tied, I think, for leading tackle. He's tackles. had a no, number of sacks this year. Yeah, he's had, well, he is. He's had six six or seven, I know, sacks, but uh, he's also leading, well, he's tied with uh, someone here in just a minute. I, Maybe Micah or one of them for, for tackles here. Right, Kirk's trying to a little quick pass out on the left-hand side. Number 16 gets some yardage up. He got five, six, seven yards. Good yeah. little, good good, little good quick first pass. down plays. Yeah, that was very – he uh, he faked the hand off and popped it right quick to number 16 uh, for, yeah. for them. That's and then at linebackers, fine. we've got Micah, Jackson, and um, Mosley at the linebackers. And Reese is playing like a strong safety type. Yeah, that was Ethan Klein on the receiving end right there. So it's going to bring up second and about two. Second and about two. So he's going to hand off to Dowdy, 35. He pounds, trying to get in there. Uh, looks like he's going to be just short. Going to be short. And, you know, got a little extracurricular activity right there. But number tug, 80. Tuggle in there or somebody. Yeah, I think we stopped him about a yard short. Logan Long made that tackle, and he fell on top of that kid. We I can't say a win. half yard short anymore, can we? No. According to the rule, you cannot. Yeah, it's either they, going to be a yard short. So if right you're closer the to the uh, – Anyways, I, 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 I don't know what I'm thinking. So it's going to be third down and one for the Indians. Rebels up very tight. They're putting their linebackers, stacking them in. Let's see what happens here. Going to hand off to 17. He got it on the left-hand side. They faked the center and went right off the left-hand side. Big hole for a first down for the Indians. Good play for the Indians yep. there. It was. So let's see, that's going to spot. Hey, Carson and Beaver came up and made that tackle. He was the last man in line there when they blitzed. <laughs> so uh, he took up on a big kid there. Luckily, Carson stayed at home. Yes. Or that could have went all the way. So it's going to be first down and 10. Ball is going to be up about the 40 four yard line and they're in rebel territory so the Indians putting together a little little drive here going to hand off up to center to doubt him another big hole it gets up three to four yards four yard pick up there yep I assume that's no that wasn't doubt that's number 17 I started to say that kid is not as big as Dowdy. that's going to be Drew Allison uh, running the ball 6 3 2 10 wow yeah. he's listed as a wide receiver how about that they're mixing some things up tonight yeah they are so that's going to bring up about second and six second seven, seven, seven. I think. yeah they went with the official three Three yards on that one. <laughs> oh, let's see. We're getting. I'm getting all kinds of texts. Oh, Andy says he's got us five by five licking chicken. He's in Florida. So there we go. Rebels got a little quick pass out there. And like Carson come up. They're going to be short of the first down. It'll be third and one. Third and one. So we got to get our defense back in there. I'm getting. You know, I'm not seeing that live chat on coming up on YouTube, but I'm getting plenty of texts over here. I can tell you that. And we'll just kind of check in and see what all we got. So that's going to bring up third and one for the Indians. 
And a lot they're going to go with their big back there. He's he's right oh. behind. Oh, well, we got a false start. I think that's going to give them five right there, isn't it? Yeah, Mercer got a little excited and jumped. That's going to give them a first down. So it's going to be first from about the 29. I, I didn't see Coach Cheatham, but I can tell you I know what he probably was doing. Yeah, Mercer's coming out right now. <laughs> oh. I didn't so, notice when we scored, the, the lights wasn't flashing. Were well, they? that's what someone just texted me. Allison uh, just said, hey, what's happening to the lights? I guess our power bill probably got a little bit too high. Georgia High School, that might have been a – probably can't do that anymore. Well, uh, they change the rule every week, as we know. First down and 10 for the Indians. Ball is going to be on the 30, looks like. So, they're going to Quarter fake the doubt. A quarterback keeper, he gets up the center and gets Ooh, stuck. Who hit Mosley? Ooh, big Mosley yeah. put a hit on him right Murtis there. Murtis went crazy. Wow, he put a hit and then just stuck him right in the ground. So, good. Good stop right there by Mosley. You know, the only thing uh, I can say, Andy's sitting here talking about it, uh, trying to figure out, <laughs> tell people that I'm I'm there in spirit helping a war veteran move. So he's in Florida. <laughs> I, I, I guess, uh, I don't oh, know. Yeah. That's maybe too much story we can't talk about on live radio and I gotta TV. tell you about the housewarming gift Andy brought me. It yeah. was great. Second and eight for the Indians. They're going to get the ball uh, to the back and trying to get in. A good tackle right there by number. Micah. Is that big Micah? Yeah, Michael Post. Oh, we got a late wow. penalty oh, coming no. here. I don't know what that was. They're going to call... If they call this, it'll be silly, but we'll see what they – What do you think it's going to be? Um, unsportsmanlike against Micah because he stood up and got off of him. Well, the guy was actually between his legs. He had to stand up to get off of him. So, so I saw that, but there's no other way to get off the kid. So, um, You know, they called that. I seen that the other day. That's Is that 15 yards or going to be half uh, the distance? It'll be 15 because it's outside the – Yeah, it's going to be half the distance. First down, first and uh, yeah. it's going to put the Indians in here threatening right now. So that's going to be first and thirteen. Big penalty right there. But but you know I seen the same thing you did. I mean he really didn't have another way to get off. I seen that in a college game the other day. They called that and I thought, golly, that's kind of a. I mean, do they want you to kind of roll off all of him? Yeah. Or, I mean, yeah. You you know like a stop, drop, and roll. I don't know. Stop, drop, and roll. I'm just going to ask did, questions. So you learned that when you were in school? Did I think you? I learned that from my kids. Hmm. You should. Yes. Being a fireman, I'm glad you know that. Uh -huh. Especially having you insured. Well, we got a meeting better. place outside so the here house. Here we go. Going to be hand off to the quarterback. He's got ooh, ooh. tried to go right across the middle, but there was no receiver there. Somebody missed an assignment somewhere because the quarterback yes. threw and they wasn't. Nobody was there. I, we I had, was Andre was the closest guy. Yeah, no, I, or me or you. Yeah, maybe you. Austin was a little closer than I was. So <laughs> Big Miles was, checking in. Big Miles. So we're putting some beef right in the center right there. No, he's, oh, he's going to go. go on the, yeah, Tuggles at nose. Wow. Pound for pound, Tuggle's a, a real man out there. T Tuggle's got quick feet. He's a, he's a great athlete. He really is. So um, he's good on the line. Uh-huh. I know what we may. Yep. So, yeah, we're still getting live feed on YouTube, Aaron. Big Nelson Serrano. <laughs> I thought I had it right. All right, second down and ten. Uh, India's good pass across on the left-hand side. Gets five, six yards close to the first down. They got about eight, eight nine yards right gonna there. It's going to be close to the first down. It's going to be close. So, it's going to be inside the five. Let's see where they do the spot. I think they're going to have it just uh, short. Yep, yeah, just short. Just the yard short. So, it's going to be third. We know it has to be third and one. It can't be third and inch anymore. I don't exactly. I don't know who came up with that, but I don't like it. But I guess it takes all the guessing work out of the uh, out of the refs, doesn't it? It makes their job a lot easier for sure. It does. It does. They can get to Dairy Queen quicker <laughs> and get out of here. So third, big third down and one right here. The ball's on about to four. Uh, they can get a first down without scoring. Let's hope that don't happen. They're going to hand off to number 17. He gets he, right. He oh, loses, good stop. Loses. Good defensive stop right there by the Rebels. Going to be a loss on the play. Carson came up from his corner position and did really good right there. Got yeah. it behind the line. Is that uh, Andre or JoJo one over there? That's I think. Not, yeah, that's uh, two. That's Carson. Carson, Carson, I seen Carson, but other than that, yeah, I couldn't tell who else was there. But yeah, that was a uh, so it's fourth down, big fourth down. Well, you know they're they're going for it. Fourth and three, yeah, fourth and four. Yeah. They're saying fourth on the and scoreboard. Four. Yep, fourth and four. I, even from this angle, I can tell that, Matthew. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're gonna have to do a little bit better. It's too many shadows out there. Oh, we are getting a little bit of. We're getting a little bit here of YouTube chat action going on here. All right, big fourth down right here. Come on, D. 
may have a timeout. Timeout time out Indian. So a little surprised they were one of the guys was questioning right there a minute. So I guess coach smart smart play use of the uh, timeout right there. Do you want a little update on some scores? I KP? would love a little update. All right, like region play, we got Dawson County playing Cherokee Bluff. Um, Dawson's up 14-3. Also in region play, uh, East Hall and North Hall. Um, North Hall's up 14-0. And then um, in our area tonight, Gilmer is playing Ridgeland. And up in Towns County, who has not won a game, but they have a chance tonight. They're playing Lakeview Academy. And then Union went to Social Circle. And then Copper Basin is playing South Pittsburgh. Yeah. Big, big South game for yeah, South Pittsburgh is up 12-0 right now. Uh -huh. Well, South Pittsburgh's always traditionally had a had a good program down there, so uh, you knew that was going to be a tough game for the Cougars. But we wish them luck. Hope they do. Hope they regain it and come back there. Although I have to tell you, my football picks in the paper. I did not pick them. My house may get rolled tonight, but you know hey, it's okay. You got to go with what you got to go. You got you got to win. We got it. We're playing GAC next week. I'm not sure how I'm gonna pick. <laughs> you're looking at me. Well, <laughs> you're looking at me there. I'm, not, so. I'm just gonna. I hope this fourth down we stop them. That's what I'm up. Down and four. Fourth and four right here for the for the Indians. We got to have some D right here. If we can stop them. This will be a big. Tried to do a little hard count right there. Didn't work. Looks like they're going to call the timeout. Another timeout? Mm -hmm. Well, here we go. They're going to try just, to draw us off. They did just, not. So we only got a minute, 45 seconds left in the first quarter. Rebels up 14 to nothing. Indians threatening right here late in the first quarter. So let's hope we can uh, got another big 30-second timeout right there. Let's see what we got. I was trying to see uh, injury-wise. I was just trying to count heads down there. I know we've got a lot of kids. Still hurt, I think, last week. For you know, kind of season toll. I think we had 16 kids that were either that was injured. Yeah, it was it was form. pretty bad. I mean, what we had happen to us. Yeah, and and you know, you're always injury is going to be a part of it, especially at this level. But uh, you know, to have the the key, you know, you you some of your main starters right there. That's tough. So understand that our audio is not working on ETC, but on 92.7 WXFC it's working, and on YouTube, Fan and Rebel TV. If you go there, pick it up, it's working fine. ETC is working, try to resolve that. But big fourth down here for the Indians. Uh, number seven, Kirk's trying to figure it out. Oh, they're going to do a little fake, a little reverse around the corner, and he's going to throw to his quarterback. Touchdown. A little trickery right there the Indians come up with. Number 15, they uh, faked a little reverse, and number 15 come around and threw the ball back to the quarterback. Philly special, wasn't it? That was a what? Philly special. That's exactly what it was. I thought so, that play was only ran in the Super Bowl. So Tucker Tucker Kirk goes on the receiving end of a pass for a touchdown there. So now that uh, makes things a little different right here. Well, they did take two timeouts. So. That, well, that's true. Well, I mean, hey, two timeouts and a touchdown is worth it. Yeah. So is the Indians here going to attempt the extra point? Kirk's going to be the holder for this right here. The quarterback goes is their holder. And let's try to catch number on our kicker here 10 yeah it looks like looks like it's gonna be number 10 so here's the snap the kick is up it looks like it's gonna be good let's see for the signal and it is good so just like that the Indians take the ball down about to 30 and made or 35 and made a very good drive all the way down eat up a bunch of the clock so with a minute 39 in the first quarter uh, the Rebels still up 14 to 7 but a very impressive drive nonetheless by the Indians so as we take a little break, you know, the cheerleaders, they're looking a little cold. They all got their, I, I guess I can't say letter man jacket. I, that, is those considered letter women jackets? Hey, just just depends who's wearing it. What, what does Laney say? Uh, Letterman. 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 Okay. Uh, she don't ever wear hers. Hmm. I still, hey, I still got mine. I still got mine. I don't know that I can. I got a middle school jacket. <laughs> and you, I used middle to go, school. Yeah, and a little. You know hey, what, you, middle, we should ask Tim Tao because they used school. to give us football jackets in in Pee Wee. You know what my middle school jacket was? A blue jean. Ja Ooh. <laughs> I'm telling my age. Well, now, I, right? I up my From our good name. Levi's factory, as I'm looking across the way, that's where. Uh, you know what? Levi's factory. Sure, a lot of us miss them, but they were they were such a great community partner. They put lights and. Buildings 
built baseball fields and everything in this community for years. It wouldn't have been for Levi's. It would have been a lot of things struggled in this community. As the Indians coming up here for the kickoff, a good little kick's going to come down or look to be. We're going to take it on about Trailing. the 21. Trailing's got the ball. He's going to pound up in there. Going to get up to about the 35, maybe. See where they do the spot. Yep, they're going to spot it on the 35. These refs don't have a job to do now. You know, if no. they just I fight. think you can make it now. Yeah, I think I could. I may have to come out of retirement. I may awesome. have to come out of retirement. Don't think I can't. Hey, I might need to, uh, December 19th, I might need to use you. <laughs> yeah, I hear. Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> you just, be, just be on standby, please. Be on standby. Hey, I've got a referee, a uh, wrestling match. I have to tell you about that here a little bit. Oh, Lord. So it's going to be uh, first and Is ten. Is that a promotional thing for first KP and, Insurance? First and <laughs> ten for the Rebels. Holloway Under Center going to hand off trailing. Trailing got a little hole. Gets two or three yards. He fights. He gets two or three yards. About that, two yards on his own. But, you know, I, I play uh, – let's get a little run. That's going to bring up that second eight. I just noticed – I'm sorry to interrupt, but Miles – this I don't – this number three is playing defensive end. And he, Miles is just – he's shoving oh, him around. He, yeah, he, he drove him to the other half. How would you like to be number three knowing you're lining up against somebody? I just kind of like go in and make a pile rather than get driven back 20 yards. Yeah, there Maybe we go. Maybe that's a so strategy he should try. Second and about seven. Oh, he just pointed seven. at Miles. Oh, he's threatening him. All right, hand off a little quick pitch trailer. gets around the corner. Dodge just one gets a hole and he's going to get the first down and still going, cannot, still going, him down. Him down. Oh, got a little pushing contest. So we got a little three or four extra yards. Great run for, great run for trailing. We're going to have to definitely. So big first down. We're going to have to check our, uh, check our stats here in a minute. What's he up yards. to, Austin? Uh, he's definitely over 100 now. I think. Let's take 115. 115 would be a, gr a great I, guess. I am going to check y'all's math at halftime to see how good you are. But uh, as I was saying, you know, I played Donald Trump last night for Halloween. I saw that. Yeah, that was the ugliest wig. Mm -hmm. Uh, ugly you, you look very on. similar, though. Uh, <laughs> and what are you saying? Ah, uh, no comment. What are you trying to say? And so Holloway under the, uh, the shotgun. He's looking back to throw, looking back to throw. He's got a little time. He's got pressure now, trying to get away. Oh, he's got, got plenty of running room now. He got loose. He's going to run for the first down and get out of bounds. Wow, good run by Holloway. Great. I mean, that was great blocking by our, our offensive line. It was. I mean, I'm having a makeshift line like we have. That was great blocking. He, he had a... All kinds of time, but you know, finally the the blocking broke down, and he had to scramble. He, I don't know how he got away from that guy. I don't know. Really. It looked like a sack from up. Yeah, there. I thought it was going to be a coverage sack there for a minute. I thought he was running for a first down. Well, he did run for a first down. So we're going to take. Oh no! Yeah, they got it. <laughs> I started to say, you know, I'm sitting here, you know, still a firefighter and EMT. My fire department page are going on, trying to listen to calls. All kinds of excitement going on. First and ten, Rebels hand off trailing left side, pounds it in, two or three yards. Now look, I'm going to tell you something. Trailing is running hard, and uh, they're making some tackles. But I don't care where you're at on that defensive line. You cannot continue to sustain that pounding. Mm -mm. Uh, mm -mm. That gets. Uh, that's going to get. Hard. He's gonna he's gonna break a into the first. One. Into the first. Right there's the clock. Two one zero. Rebels are up fourteen to seven here at the end of the first quarter here tonight in Fannin County High School Stadium here at Rebel Stadium. So Rebels still up and we're threatening a little bit here uh, going into the second quarter. And as we get to that point, I guess uh, our uh, good sponsor reader run off. So we're gonna give it to Austin. Let Austin talk for a minute. Uh, so our sponsor for the night are Blue Jeans Pizza, Blue Ridge Barber Shop, Blue Ridge Coin Shop, Gracie Barber uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Brotherhood Oil, CrossFit 30513, Fannin Empty Stocking, ETC Security, Fannin Regional Hospital, Kevin Painter Insurance, Juanes Club Blue Ridge, Messier's Orchards, Brian Tesserero Realty, Nathan Fitz, Susan DuPont, Steve Tucker Realty, Super Clean Car Wash, Swan Drive-In, Town & Country Furniture, Trailer Drive-In, Tri-State EMC, True Fitness GA, and United Community Bank. All right. Well, that good. was a job well done. I think that's that's remarkable. He, he learned all that from me. I could tell. He learned how to have a good mentor. All the pro, all the uh, very good Come English on, and pro pronunciation, all the big stuff. So we're going to call you AP? AP. Uh, AP, AP and KP. 
<laughs> so. All right, so uh, Rebels going. We're going to reverse the field here, flip flop at the end of the quarter. So Rebels going to take over the ball here on the uh, what's that? 33. Yeah. It's definitely. It looks about right 30, on the 33 yard. Yeah, line. 33 yard line according to their little. We know it's no not more halves. No more halves. So Rebels Holloway's under center. We're going to go in the I formation. Mosley and Traylon going to hand off. No, we're going to fake the Traylon going to throw a long pass. We got a guy open. Oh, we tried to get it to. Is that JoJo? Well, yeah, yeah, that was yeah. Andre. Andre. We got, a, yeah. we got a flag coming in there at the line of scrimmage. Oh, let's see what we got here. Oh. Yeah, we had him open. He got one hand on it, just could not reel it in. Let's check the flag. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be against the Rebels. Uh -huh, we're backing yeah, up. Backing up. Backing up. Let's see what it is. Probably going to be a hole. Yeah, yeah it's holding was 10 it? yards. I didn't see the. Hey, I can look on the replay right here. Hmm. Not really. Sounded good, though. It did. Telestrate that for me. <laughs> Telestrate? I can't even spell that. So that's going to put the ball back on about the 45-yard line. You know these refs, they uh, they need to cut their pay. If they don't have to do this nice spot and if they just get to go to straight line. Now, that ball is not on an actual yard line, is it? Just nose, got the nose got on the, the nose line. On the route, nose the right on it. So, so here we go. Only... It's going to be second long, second about, yeah, actually second. Five and a quarter. Second 19, maybe. No, second 20. Second and 20 right here. So big throw, big quick pitch back to trailer and he gets to the right hand side, getting around. We got a flag. Let's check the flag. That could. This one's, he's flag happy. Yeah, tonight. he's through that. That come from the back judge on the side. Let's see what we got. It's either going to have to be a holding or a face mask. Let's see what they got. Holding. It's like a holding. Holding. Holding's going to go against the Rebels. Going to be up. That's the signal. He is a little flag happy. Take his uh, Sunday away from Dairy Queen if he throws another one like that. He's had, he's had that flag out of his pocket several times, hasn't he? Oh, yeah. So, so that's going to be, what, 10 yards? Yeah, it'll be yeah. Third, second and 30. Second and 30. Wonder Give it they got the playbook for that. Wow. Uh, wait a minute. No, they trap. They didn't. Wait a minute. They only marked off five on that. Was it from the spot? It had to be. You're yeah, right. Yeah. yeah that say that, say that one more time. Uh, that was a good call. <laughs> Good call by the ref out there holding. <laughs> Very good call by the ref from the spot of the foul. All right, so going to bring up second and 20, maybe second 20. Second and a long way. Second and 20. Holloway's Screen. looking back to throw. Uh, good, good, good read by Luke. Good read. Good He's going to take Luke. it. Going to take it and run. Going to get up. Good little run by Holloway. He had nothing open right there. He's going to get the ball up about the 34-yard line, get back just across the original line of scrimmage. Uh, yeah, on that play, we had a screen set up to the left side for Mosley and the linemen were over there, but the, their backer read it and targeted Mosley, and so Luke kept it and ran. Great play. Well, that was a good read. I mean, yes. very good read, but a lot of quarterbacks were throwing it out there, and that could have been ugly. Going to hand off to Traylon. He gets up the right-hand side, pounds, 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 gets three or four yards. Right there, you hear the Lumpkin coaches. They're getting a little active over there, aren't they? They're over here beating, trying to. Getting a little excited. Yep. Bass you know, drum, bass drum. Yep, exactly. So that's going to bring up fourth and seven. No. Five. Fourth and four. Four. Fourth and four. I'm so, right. What are those numbers? Fourth well, I'm, looking, I'm reading our Ten scoreboard. Minutes. Oh, they just changed it. Yeah, uh, well, see, they heard me say that. Ten minutes, two seconds to go here in the second. Going to quick pitch out the trail and left inside. Big hole. First down. Fighting to get to the corner and got more. Big run by Traylon. And I will tell you right now, without a doubt, he's over 100 yards. So, good run by Traylon Ornsby. He's going to get the ball down to about the 12. 124. 124. Where did you hear that at? You're just guessing. We've been keeping up with it. Me and oh, Matt, you have good. Y'all should be. That's what y'all getting paid to do tonight. Let's keep yeah. up with that. So, Rebels going to have the ball spotted up on the 13-yard line. So, it's going to be first and 10 for the Rebels on the 13. We need to get some more points here. Margin got clipped just a little bit when the Indians drove down and scored. So, Holloway's under center, going to fake, looking to throw. He's got pressure, got a guy open. It's going to be incomplete. Trying to get the ball out. Had a, had had a guy on his face, yeah. threw it a little low. Yep. Yeah, he had to get regroup. That quick. I was trying to get the ball to Reese out there, and he, he threw it low and didn't really have a chance. But, uh-oh, uh I see we have a special guest in the house tonight. Mr. Setzer is getting up here. Now, that's Mr. Technology, Stephen Setzer. They're over here troubleshooting, trying to see what all is going on with some of the audio. But as we do that, it's going to bring up second down and 10 for the Rebels. Nine minutes, 31 seconds to go in the second quarter. 
So we got got Carson out on the left hand side and looks like maybe Andre. We're gonna put a man in motion. Holloway's gonna take it, gonna do a quarterback sneak. He's trying to pick his way. Got a flag coming, a flag coming yeah. in the play, gets down about the maybe the six yard line, short of the first down. Let's check the flag. I think they're gonna try to call a hold on Miles. He just manhandled the kid and put him down on the ground. Holding so. and slinging the guy is two different things. Is it the same ref? No, it's not the same ref. Can you get a replay on that one, KP? Uh, well, it's already happened over here. I missed it. Let's see what we got. Oh, chop block. Oh, oh. no. Okay. Uh, so that's how Miles ended up on top of him then. <laughs> you know, maybe that kid ducked out of the way and took out Miles' knees. Yeah, well, it was a big boy that did not um, Number 80, he's a large kid right there. Yeah, he's well, a tall one. Um, yeah, that's what I, you know, I guarantee that. So, probably a coach over there saying, hey, yeah, here's, 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 yeah. how, here's, how you get, here's how you get that guy on the ground. And that's how you get an injury. Not saying that's what happened, but, you know, I can see something like at the big guy, he tries to go low to, to get low on him, and luckily, yeah. you know, the ref did a, a good call on that because you definitely so want to protect all kids up so there. We're on the three. Going to be that's going to be second down. How could yeah, yeah, that don't, yeah they uh, we got a timeout for the Rebels, but that looks like it's a first down, is it not? If they're marking on their thing, looks like they, I got, don't, they got it right at the three where the yardage marker is. I don't no. think Cheatham called timeout. He's like, what did I do? But look at where are they marking this thing? Is that not a first down? Or are they calling it? It has see, to be a first one, down. Two, three. If you look on the side. Now I think the yard marker over there. I know we're looking at angles. So yeah, it's yeah. They got the. It has to be. I guess they it has got to be the a ball. Yard. Hey, look, the ball. Now you you look at your goal line. The ball looks like it's sitting on the three. But if you look at the, it's on the yard three stick and a half. Is, is on like the three and a half. Yeah. Like we're a yard ahead of it, don't it? Yeah. Pick up phone call down there, Matthew. Tell them. Who do I need to call? Let me get that person on the we phone. We can't call right Ryan there. Norton anymore. No. What's going on down there? Yeah, we can't figure. Quick can't update. Figure um, Union's already up on Social Circle, 34 to nothing. Where are they? Where did you say they're playing at? Social mm -hmm. Circle. They're at Social Circle. They left about lunchtime this morning. Wow. That's a good <laughs> did they get all their there. players back? I know they had a little. Yeah, they had a one-game suspension. They all got them back and uh, had them back last week. And uh, they're ready. They got a big game for region title next week. Rabin comes in. Yeah. That, that'll be a. Oh, that'll be a big game. Well, yeah. Speaking of the region, you know, in our region, uh, like I said, three, uh, 3A Region 7 standings right now. You know, GAC is going to be uh, – they're in there at 5-0 five and, five and oh in the region. North Hall second, 3-1. and one. Then you got uh, – North Hall, uh, yeah, North Hall three and one, Dawson three and one, then Fannin in at two and two, and then Cherokee Bluff two and three right there, and then uh, East Hall and Lumpkin round out. They're both zero oh and four in the region. So the Rebels tonight with a with a win is definitely going to make it into the playoffs. So they did change seat. it to a first down. Now. <laughs> well, that, they better start listening to us a little bit more. We can we ought to get half their pay. So exactly. nine minutes twenty five seconds to go. Rebels first down. First and goal right here. So Holloway's under center. I bet who's going to get the ball. We're going to hand it to Mosley. Bam. Mosley pounds in there for the touchdown, the signal. So uh, I guarantee those. There oh, goes our lights. They just yeah. forgot. Everybody was wondering what was happening to the lights. I've never seen them completely cut them out. I wish they'd just flick them a little bit. I don't like that completely out. It kind of made me nervous. It did me too there for a minute. What do you think, AP? No, that was a little crazy. Never seen nothing like that in <laughs> County. What's, what's that? Uh, there's a song, and y'all are way too young for that. The night the lights went out in Georgia. All right, so Miss Sosby here on to attempt the extra point to kick us up, and it's good. So the extra point, Rebels going to take a 21-7 to lead here going in the second quarter. Nine minutes, 18 seconds to go. So good drive right there by the Rebels taking it and putting it into the end zone. Oh, the cannon went off too. We've missed it the last two times. <laughs> I'm surprised. Everybody's we can... just a little delayed tonight. I know. I'm surprised. Surprised you could do that. You know, back in the old days, that was a, a real cannon, and it would uh, rock the stadium, and you could hear that. Now I think it. Now you can just barely hear it. Yeah, it sounds like kind of a cap gun. A little bit along the ways, but uh, nonetheless, Rebels put up seven more points as the kicking team gets back out here to, to do a little kickoff. Hey, actually, somebody said we're doing a good job, Matthew. I, I assume they're talking about you Was and it? Austin. But uh, well, we're trying. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Getting earn your keep. So Rebels going to be coming out, going to be kicking off here to the Indians. Eight minutes, no, nine minutes. 18 seconds to go. Miss Sosa, we're going to 
to the kick. Going to kick it along the ground. It bounced. Oh, oh it's oh, he hit one. Going to take it on about the 22. He's got a little room and a little speed going across. He gets across the 35. We'll get our hands on him, bring him down. Not on the half yard line, but up on the 37 yard line. Looks like where the Indians going to be taking over the ball. <laughs> I can't get over that. No, oh, I can't. That's just like cheating. Well, you take, you know, a few inches here and a half a yard there. And, and you, you know, you can throw 20, 30 yards. That's that's big in a game. But uh, the Rebels going to have to play some defense right here a little bit. Be nice to get a little defensive stand here and hold them. And oh, yeah, go up ball. another score before halftime. Yep. Yep. So now um, next week we got GAC coming in here for the final regular season game of the year. And, uh, That's always a, a, a tough game to end on. Very, very, very tough game. You'd like to almost have that to start and get it over with. Mm -hmm. Everything. So Indians taking over first and ten. They're handed to Dowdy, and he gets wrapped up in the backfield. There's going to be a loss on it. Somebody come in there with a good tackle. Who was that, Austin? Uh, he got swallowed up by several Fannie County guys. S several Fannie County Rebels. It was like number uh, see, wow. 13 I know was in, in for us, and I don't even have a number on 13 for us. I don't think it was 13. Well, maybe that's why some, I don't have enough. Some jerseys switched around a little bit on us. Yeah. Could, could 11? Be. 11. It was something with a one. How's that? How about 11? Andre Bivens coming uh, up from the safety. Big Andre. And I don't think that's who it was. But it, <laughs> I would have recognized those pink pink socks he's got on. He's easy to spot out there. All right, so hand off Dowdy. Left oh, hand ball, side. Ball. ball. Ball get loose. I think uh, Andre might have got it. Like Fannin's got it. Let's see what the mark is. Oh, the Indians are signaling they still got it. Well, they, they but that was, uh, a, that was a big hit. Yeah, it's a good hit right there. I seen that head pop. So number 15 took a hard lick, but he was able to recover the ball right there. Wow, what, what great play by our defense. Here we are. Yep, so third and ten. Defense playing strong right here. That was a good lick coming all the way up on that. Third and it's ten. Good. Third and ten. Third and ten. Wow. Matthew, when that, the ball mark is back on the well, back. Well, I looked at, I'm looking at this scoreboard, and they yards. went from ten to one. I was like, that don't, don't make sense. Don't pay no attention. Look who's running yeah. that over there. Exactly. You That's, can't pay no attention I, I, to those I'm guys I'm not looking at the door. scoreboard ever again. You can't pay no attention to them. First down and ten. Kirk back screen. screen. Throw a little screen pass. Oh. oh, we eat it up. Great play Mosley right there. Mosley blew that Big up. Mosley blew that up in the center. Lots of two on the Wow. 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 Great, great play by the defense. He read that all away. He got Pretty, pretty, pretty good for a guy that's yeah. been a little sick. Yeah, he's pumped up on that as well. Look at he's walking around those hands out. You, he's like, yeah, I did that. You know, he's a great, just he's a great football player. He really is. He's, he don't mind playing he's, hurt or anything. Nope. He's going to do it. He's had some. Uh, he's had some great games this year. You know, running that fullback position, and uh, you know, blocking for trailing is not no easy task as a fullback because you're always pounding no. somebody. But all right, so fourth down, and they're going to be punting here. Kirk's back to putt. Ooh, a little wobbly the putt. Right. It's going to be come down about the 46-yard line and take a rebel bounce before they get touched right there. I don't think the ref knew. <laughs> the touching was up here. He ref. He picked it up and threw Go, it back. Yeah, I it. know. <laughs> ref, come on up about two more yards. <laughs> Look, they're trying to come get him to come. Here. There he goes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on. They heard me up here. I was like, come on, guys. Just give That's us awesome. half their money. We'll call this game the way we want it to be from up here. So uh, the Rebels going to get great field position. Position, six minutes, 31 seconds. In the second quarter, Rebels up 21-7. We're going to take over the ball here first and 10, just inside Rebel territory, but we're driving uh, east, I guess. We're going to call it east for the night. We're going to call it east. east. Okay, I'll, I'll buy that. West. All right, so here we go. Holloway's going to be back in the shotgun. Got a little unusual setup. Wow, well, here comes our man in motion. Going to fake to Receiver Holloway's looking to throw. Got a guy over the center. Andre, did he bring it in? No, incomplete. Incomplete pass. Oh, I didn't see the ball pop out. I yes. thought he, I thought he, he went had out it. the back end. Oh man, that was going to be a great, great catch right there if he got it. Couldn't. That would have been a great get. Yeah. Got a little pressure. Luke stepped perfectly up into the pocket and threw the ball. I a little low. I couldn't have caught that either. Yep. I think Austin could have. Yeah, Austin could have. Yeah. I couldn't have caught it. Maybe could have pulled that. He could have hit it with his pitching wedge. Yeah. <laughs> he knows how to hit that yeah, pitching wedge. Go. And the driver. And the six, seven iron, eight iron, nine iron. So second and ten for the Rebels. Ball's still going to be spotted on the, about the 48. We're going to hand off trailing. He's got rim again. Look out. Look out. Almost a face 
smashed right there for a second. He's still going. But he got up, got down. about five yards. Yeah, he mm, was good run. Really good run. He gets on that right-hand side. You know, he, he's got great vision and uh, agility. You know, he will get on there and he'll find him a spot. He's got real good, real good feet right there to, to so pick So we spots. were in Inside. right at that time, so we're we in. tried the right side. Yep, there we go. So we're in the Indian Territory here. We've got third down and uh, going to be about third and six. Straight up here on us. Holloway's going to take the ball. Quarterback sneak. has got room. Going to be short of the first down, but good little run right there. That's going to bring up fourth and one. Let's see what we do right here. I think I know what's going to happen. Go for we're it. going for it. That's what I'd be doing. I'd be pounding. So going to be fourth and one for the Rebels. We're going to get up to the line quick. We're not going to give them a time to, to shuffle and think about it. Got the play called under senior. Eye formation. Holloway's looking. They're going to check off the play, maybe. Yep. Doing, oh, uh, hang on. We got a. What do we got here? Got a timeout by somebody. It looks like they're wanting to. They want to change where the ball is a little bit. I can't tell. Oh, it's not. Is it not right on the. That, that, in that kind of that, that mess up kind of gets us out of our groove there and stalls the whole thing of what we're trying to accomplish. Yeah. Way to go, Ralph. I'm going to take your Sunday, too. Take your Sunday, too. It's going to be fourth and one. Oh, uh, they had a 40 second clock and it's supposed to be a 25 second. Oh. That's another Georgia high school rule this yep. year. Yep. All right, so fourth and one, big play right here. Holloway's coming under center. He's going to take the snap. Going to hand off to yours truly. Trailing pounds on first day. Oh, fumble on the ball. He fumbled the ball. Did, let's see who we got. Right, I think got the Indians it. think they got it, but it ain't going to matter if we didn't get the fourth down. We had it and then just they ripped the ball out right there. So big recovery, big recovery by the Indians right there. There's a Rebels was, and that was something you don't normally see happen. Trailing fumble the ball. They hmm. got a hand in there and ripped that ball out. You seen him turn around real quick, and I just thought they spun him, but he was looking back for the ball. Something happened to Traylon's helmet on them in the middle of that right there. They're look down there looking. Hmm. All right, so that's going to be first down and 10 for the Indians. Five minutes, five seconds to go. Rebels to up 21 to 7, second quarter. Let's play a little more defense right here. So we got another official timeout. What have we got? Play clock's messing up. Oh, that's what it is. I'm glad you figured that out. Looks like this clock cap struggling. Yep, he's pointing down the, well, the 25 second clock's there now. I think they're trying to communicate. Maybe they're going. No, it's back on now. I don't know what's going on. It's those guys next door. They can't get things right over there. You know how it is. Of course, that's a rep that's yeah, doing that. Yeah, exactly. That's it ain't a, that's any a, of our guys. That's one of their guys. That but he could be over eating all that free pizza. That could be what's going on. <laughs> could be. So first down and 10 for the Indians. Ball's on the 43-yard line. Going to hand off. Kirk looking to throw, and he gets it out on the right-hand side. A little quick pass, but no go for the Indians. We bring him down just at the yard marker over there. He was fumbling that one around a little bit. Yeah, he was. And that was a great play by JoJo on that left corner, you know, that's somebody that hadn't been in that position, came up and made the tackle. So that is good play, JoJo. Tucker Kirk is the quarterback there for them, 6'3", 200. He's a big old boy. And uh, so let's see what they're going to dial up here on second down and 10. You know, I'm sitting here watching this on YouTube and this delay and I can hear myself talking. Makes it uh -oh. a little hard. It does. It Something's does. going on. What do we got here? Yeah, there They're has getting, to be something with the clock. Coach Henson's involved now. Uh-oh, this is going to get serious here. See what it is. Uh, we're all confused. Everybody's confused. They're going to say, hey, can y'all get that clock fixed and figured out? Oh, he's coming to the band. It's about the band. band must have been. They're probably complaining the band's playing during their. You, you got to be kidding. Really? If that's going to get you uh, offense stirred up there, that's something. So, all right, so hand off to number 35, Dowdy. Dowdy gets up, fights two, three, four yards, and gets about maybe five yards. Good little run by the Great Indians. little run. Good stop by our D-line there, linebackers. Right on line right here. We can look straight down the line. We can see it all. Very rare opportunity. Yeah, where we're sitting, we're actually on about the 45-yard line, the, the booth here tonight. So. 
at where you're looking, except for right now we're at an angle. So it's going to bring up a big third down right here. We need some defense, so it's going to be about third. What they got it's third and six. Can't call it third five and a half or six and a half anymore, can I? No, it's definitely right on the spot. It is. So the Indians got a couple twins out here on the left. They put their little back stand up. Dowdy's going to get the ball up the center. We're going to bring so, him down. Good stop. Good stop by the defense there. A host of Rebel tacklers. Good little good sportsmanship right there. But one of our guys helping theirs up. So bring it up fourth down for the Indians. Let's see what they decide to do here if they want to punt it off. Three minutes. Go for it. Three minutes, 30 seconds. Well, the smart thing for them to do, they're still in this ball game, 21-7. They better play regular football. Your midfield, you don't want to give that ball up. No, because we, we will score within three minutes. Yeah. Yeah, so. You see, hear the confidence in that? Smart play. Like it. Smart play to punt. Let's just see if they're smart. I don't know. We don't have nobody back right now. They're going like to draw, try to draw us, I think. They may do a little quick kick, too. Uh yeah, you can tell by he line, when he lines up. Yeah, well, he's in a regular position right here. Let's see. He's probably going to run back here real quick. There's there we go. Yeah. Let's see. They're trying to run a little more trickery. Delay a game. That has to be what it is. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That now, that's going to be a hard call right there because our, the play clock still had two seconds on, so you cannot fault the kid for not snapping the ball. And this 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 ref came in and blew it. But the play clock actually had two seconds left. And that would upset me as a coach. Where's he getting his information at? I don't know. That's the must thing. Be, must be manually keeping it somewhere. And so, but the kids looking at the play clocks on either yeah. end, and it was at two seconds. And so it's, so they're going for fourth and ten. They're, they're going fourth and ten here. Not what I would advise. But we're going to see here. Kurt back and looking to throw. He's got some pressure. He's going to get away from it right there a minute. We're trying to bring him down. He's going to go down. So good defense right there by the Rebels as they bring him down. So good fourth down stance for the Rebels. Good, good job, D. Good D. So Rebels going to get the ball back in their own in Indian territory. So we've just uh, two minutes, 47 seconds to go. We just got to get about 45 yards out of this. Plenty of time left for get a touchdown in. Yep. Plenty of time. And uh, looks like we're having some technical difficulties back here somewhere. Looks like we got Big Nelson and Does that mean we're not on the Mathis. air? I think we're on the air. Mm. They, it's like ESPN. They want to keep us going. First down and 10 for the Rebels. Ball's on the 45. Holloway's back in the shotgun. Holloway's looking to throw, looking to throw, looking to throw. He's got a man open on the right-hand side. Good pass. Oh, oh he's some interference. Held. He's throwing the oh, flag. Oh, my Lord. Throw the flag. I could have called that from up here. Look at him. Out of all the calls you've made, Ref, and you couldn't make that call, you robbed him. You robbed him, Coach. We got robbed. That, yeah, that, that, that was, was ridiculous. A, Awful call. I don't blame Coach you. Coach Sheetham does not like the call. Yep. I would not like the call because it was a bad call. Yeah, he's about to get the flag, though. I can tell you the flag. He's going to see the flag here in a minute. I kind of like I to don't see him get the flag. Yeah, yeah well, that's, I mean, what you, that's what you want. So here's going to be second down mm -hmm. in 10. That was a very bad call. Write that ref's number down. No DQ He's for him. Traylon, Traylon's running mad now. He's going to get up, get the first close to the first down. He got the first down. Yeah, the way he was about a half yard short, but we got it marked for the first down. So we'll <laughs> take it. Uh, we'll take that right there. It's so a first down. Traylon running hard. I still cannot believe that rail. That was not even close to not being passed. Mosley had the guy like hugging him all yeah. around through there. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's the only way Mosley didn't get loose. The guy had him. He <laughs> was riding. Checking, he was checking his Pocket, see if he had any if you go money in here, there. You got it. All right, so hand off to Traylon, left hand gone. side. He is gone to the end zone. He's got one guy to get around. He's going. Oh, to that is in. that is a horror. Oh, <laughs> we got a flag over him, left hand side. Uh, what are they calling that? They're going to call holding on Andre, and that is the uh, not a good. No, I'm just going to say not a good call. That's all I'm going to say. Wow, that's going to be two bad back to back bad calls. I mean, he once Traylon got past him, he let it. it you know, he let was his the guy. Yeah, he was, he was pushing, pushing the guy. He, he wasn't holding. He let go of the guy as mm. Traylon went around him. That was not a good call. Oh. But you know what? It happens. We can still score. Uh, maybe me. the maybe the refs don't want us in the end zone. I think Whitecap has them. 
So I did just get some fun fact. The cannon is propane powered now. So that's the problem. A little more powerful than a cap gun. <laughs> well, I can tell you it don't sound much louder than a cap gun. We need some more propane. Yeah, blow up the put propane. A little, put a little ether in there with it. So it's going to be first, first down in a half an inch. So big uh, run right there up the center trailing is going to get across first down. I'm still, I know you're mad about that hold. I'm still mad about this bad uh, You this know, I was like, bad if pass I was, interference. If my last so. name was Cheatham, I'd have thrown my headset, but I can't do that. Yeah, so, so minute 49 seconds, uh, clock winding down the second. We're threatening here. We need to be watching the clock here. We don't want to run out of time. We got a whole lot of time. We're on the 21. So come on, coach. Yeah, that was a, that, that was a heartbreaker there. Cause that, mm. If I was Cheatham, I may consider a timeout here and, and let the guys know the importance of what we're playing with right here. Minute 28, 27, Holloway back, looking to throw, going to get it out to Carson Beavers. Carson's got a little room, gets up three or four yards. All right, so nope. So they got him marked down on the 15, going to timeout. Time out. Do you think Cheatham heard me say timeout right yeah. before that? Could have been. I, I, he could have us on headset too. Yeah. So that'll give us a time to talk a little bit more about this bad call this ref made back down here. Yeah, I, th I mean, that, that, those were two significant calls. And I understand refs make bad calls. Yep. I mean, but it's not an easy job. I'll give him, I mean, you know, that, you're going to miss that something. Hurts. You should not have missed that call. That I was mean, right in his face. It wasn't like it was his 20 yards away. He made a he made a call 30 yards away a minute ago. Uh, so don't tell me you can't make one right in your face at 10 yards. Oh, yeah. So Ms. Thomas set me straight that it is propane powered cannon. Mm. A little more powerful. Minute 17 to go, Rebels. Still up 21 to 7. Well, See, at least I know if they're chatting, they're listening to us, man. I know. They're probably making fun of us. Yeah, listen. <laughs> what do you think about that? Uh -huh. I'd say they probably are. Yeah, probably. So, so we'll have to. Still wonder if Mr. Setzer and Mr. Nelson Serrano got us, got us all fixed up. So it's going to bring up second down on the 15 Rebels in a power eye here. Put a little man flip-flop on the side right here. Going to hand off to Traylon. Traylon going up there, finding his way. He's going to have a little room, trying to get around the corner. Going to get out took of out of bounds, which yeah. is good right there, about the six, seven yard line. He went out on the six and a half, so they're going to mark us up to the six, which is good. A minute 10 to go. Great, great run, man. He's just having a great night. He is. He is. How many Austin, yards? Yeah. How, what are you thinking, Austin? He's he's closing in on 150 now. We know it can't be 138 and a half. One, one, 153. 153. 153. Good, good number. That right sounds there. good. I like it. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see him go 200. That yeah. would be better. I mean, we're still so. in the first half. Here we go. Holloway under center. We're going to be first and gold. Power eye. Going to hand the trailing again. He's going to try to get around. He's going to get there. Again. Pounds it in. Touchdown. Oh, he's going to mark it out at the he, Oh, my God. Come on, Ralph. Come on, <laughs> Ralph. Like he was exactly from the, here. He can't be at the half line anymore, How right? did you so – uh, <laughs> Is he just going to stay on the one-yard line? He's got the – yeah, they'll be marking at the one, right on the one. Yeah, well, uh, he got out So if he half. gets half a yard, what happens? I don't know if they, I don't know if they grade like they used to do my grades in school, and yeah. you got extra credit. I don't and think they, they up. I don't do know. That. So here we're going to be Holloway under center. He's going to take it in for touchdown. the touchdown. Quarterback sneak, touchdown Rebels. Good yeah, job. See. There's the line. There's the lights going off again. Ooh. So one minute left in the second quarter. Rebels put the ball back in the end zone. I would say Holloway scampered in, but he didn't. He just took one step. That's not he, a he fell in. Who fell like into a tree the end falling. zone? So Miss Sosby's going to be out to attempt her fourth extra point of the night. And so there's a snap, kicks up, and she's still 100%. There, there you go. go. It's good. So Rebels right here in the second quarter going to be 27 to 7. 28, 28 to, 7. to 7. They just not chanced. I was trying to do my math real quick. I'm glad, Austin, you caught me right there. <laughs> so we're going to be 28 to 7, one minute to go in the fourth. So we're going to be kicking off to the Indians here. Well, you know, we played a little defense right here in Hold'em. It's going to be uh, going to be good for us here to go in at the half with a yeah, good lead. It's always good to go up three touchdowns at halftime. Absolutely. But we have seen crazier things happen here before. I remember back a few years ago, we were here, and we were up by about two touchdowns on Union County and wound up losing the game right near the end. 
Mm. We're not going to talk about that anymore. I still want to talk about this ref making this bad call down here. I may see him. He's probably going to try to get him some food at halftime. So Miss Sosa is going to another kick. She's going to bounce it. Oh, the big lineman. Oh, oh wow, no, that, wasn't that wasn't real smart. That wasn't real smart. The big lineman. It, Fanny he, says they have. He it. thought the big lineman thought he was going to be smart and get his try to get his hand on the ball. Got a little pushing and shoving going on there. Let's see what the. I assume they're going to give the ball to the Indians. We have no signal by the Rebels. But, uh, yeah, their lineman thought he was kind of almost made a big mistake right there by the Indians. That'd been, I guarantee if we'd have recovered mm -hmm. that ball, we would have lined up and tried to drove that thing down real quick. So going to be first down and 10 for the Indians. Ball is going to be on the 40. 54.8 seconds to go here. Again, you're listening to us on 92.7 WXFCLP. And I don't know if you're listening to us on ET or not, but I know if you're on Fan Rebel TV, you're listening to us and you can watch in the live stream here tonight. Great technology, great job here by the students here tonight. So first and ten, Kirk's going to try to take the ball right-hand side. Got a little room, get up two, three, four yards before we, somebody jump on his back and brought him down. He is a big kid. I know I think Andre got in there on the tackle. Oh, yeah, yeah he did. 40 seconds. And uh, now they call a timeout. 40 they points. Waited several seconds before they called that one. Fanning called the well, timeout. Well, I would have let that clock run. But we may be – see what's going on here. May be going to throw a few players in there for a few seconds. I don't know. You know – it is a little chilly here tonight. I see the cheerleaders, like I said, all bundled up. and But a good crowd out here tonight for a cold night. I was afraid we wouldn't have many out here. But I see a lot of folks have uh, drug out their camouflage and uh, got their toboggans. And, and Oh, yeah. It's a chilly night. Yeah, well, it's supposed to be cold in football. You know, remember we started this thing. That was, we were in shorts and T-shirt and sweating earlier back in August. It was miserable. Mm-hmm. So we got, like I said, 40 seconds to go here before the half. Indian's going to take the ball. It's going to be second and about seven. Second seven right here. The ball's on the 43-yard line. Right on the 43-yard line. 43. Let's see if we can place him. D, we're going to hand off to Dowdy. He gets up in the center and gets three or four more yards. Clock is still running, 33. I don't know if they're going to get another playoff or not. Here we're going to see. Uh, Looks I, like Lumpkin County is just trying to get to the locker room. Yeah, I think they're probably just going to let this run right here because play clock's on 31 and then the clock is 20. Yeah, so they're going to run. I think they're going to. I think they're going to just let this run down. I'd, you know what? I'd line it up and run back and throw one. I'd air one out. But that's Might probably well. why I'm not the coach. Yeah, you're better here. <laughs> <laughs> How do you mean that? I don't know. <laughs> was that a, was that that a compliment? compliment? Oh, okay. All right. Well, as long as it was a compliment, I feel yes, much better about it. So the clock winds down. The Rebels are going to go in here at halftime with a big, huge lead, 28-7 to 7 here in Fannie County High School Stadium night. So Rebels playing some football night. Traylon Ornsby's having an astounding night running the ball. and I, We'll catch some numbers here at half. I know he has to be over 150 yards. We're going to guess? Uh, I mean, it's definitely over 150. I'd say probably around 165. 165. I'll do, one, I'll do 163. I'm going to say 149. Oh, he's 149. Way it always, you know, see. I want to know where uh, you're going to check out that out at. I want to verify that source. Well, I'll just let you all know the sources. I'll tell the story how I want to here in a minute. All right. But again, we do want to thank you for joining in. You're listening to us on 92.7 WXFC LP as we're going to be setting up here for homecoming festivities here tonight at Fannin County Stadium. So we will be delayed a little bit. We're going to be keeping the live stream going. So you'll be able to watch the homecoming tonight here at the stadium. But the good news is we're going to be taking a break and you do not have to listen to us. But we hope you'll be back in about 20 minutes. Join us for the third quarter as the Rebels continue to uh, on their journey to, to get into the playoffs. So, again, 28 to 7 here at halftime. We'll be back to start here shortly in the third quarter. Right, okay. Yeah, um, I've got audio sampling. It says 48K on here. And everything, all those sources, they're all matching out on the wiretaps.
own practice. In their spare time, Adam likes to read and spend time with her family. She is escorted by Ricardo Perianos. Ricardo is the son of Hadalina Alviar. Ricardo enjoys playing football and spending time with his friends and family. He is an honor student and made the principal's list. Ricardo plans to attend Kennesaw State University or Georgia Tech when he graduates from high school. The sophomore class also selected Haley Schuler and Cater Johnson. Haley is the daughter of Daniel and Holly Schuler. She enjoys photography and spending time with her family and friends. She has been a member of the Honor Bowl and was recognized on the principal's list. Haley plans to attend the University of North Georgia and pursue a career in the medical field. She is escorted by Cater Johnson. Cater is the son of Karen Westcott. He is a member of the Fannie County High School baseball team and enjoys watching the Atlanta Braves and the University of Georgia dominate the sports arena. He plans to become a Bulldog in Georgia and major in bacterial science. The junior class nominated Chanley Watson and Christian Jensen. Chanley is the daughter of Ron Watson, Julie Hensley, Darrell Walden, and Melissa Walden. She is a member of the National Honor Society, HOSA, and FCCLA. She enjoys going to church, eating blizzards, and spending time at number 52. She plans to attend the University of North Georgia and become a nurse anesthetist. She is escorted by Christian Jensen. Christian is the son of Prince and Joyce Jensen. He is also a member of the National Honor Society and has a 4.0 GPA. He has worked hard to become ranked in the top 10 in the junior class. He is also a member of the Technology Student Association and participates on the academic team. He plans to attend college in the state of Georgia and major in computer engineering. The junior class also nominated Allison Knuckles and Thomas Mercer. Allison is the daughter of Will and Kelly Knuckles. She is actively involved in theater and was voted Best Student Director in 2019. She serves as the Vice President of Drama Troop 6952. She is a member of the National Honor Society and loves photography. Her post-graduation plan to include going to college, pursuing a career business, getting married, having a family, and being actively involved in the church and community. Allison is escorted by Thomas Mercer. Thomas is the son of Adam and Jennifer Mercer. He has earned varsity letters in football, wrestling, and track and field. Thomas is ranked as the 11th fastest hurdler in the state of Georgia. He, all, he also qualified for the competition shotgun state team. After graduation, he plans to pursue college, find a great profession, have a beautiful family, and live in peace. Thomas most enjoys spending time with his family and watching movies on cold winter nights. The senior class selected Brandy Harper and Tyler Conley. Brandy is the daughter of Rick and Dana Harper. She is a member of the National Honor Society and Woodwood Captain and flute section leader in the Fannin County High School Marching Band. Brandy enjoys hiking, swimming, and cooking. She plans to pursue a career in diagnostic medical sonography after graduation. She is escorted by Tyler Conley. Tyler is the son of Mark and Crystal Conley. Tyler enjoys hunting and fishing in his free time. Tyler will begin advanced individual training at the Fort Sill Military Base in Oklahoma upon graduation. He has completed basic training and will focus on advanced training in field artillery. Fannin County High School faculty and staff would like to thank Tyler for his future service as a member of the United States Army. The senior class also selected Laura Watney and Matthew Shire. Laura Watney is the daughter of Michael and Amanda Watney. Laura is an accomplished drum major who conducted the UGA Red Coat Band this fall by winning the Roger Dan's Young Conductors Award. She is an honor roll student and the Vice President of National Honor Society. 
She is on principal's list and has received the Mock Trial Outstanding Attorney Award four times. Laura was also voted most likely to succeed by her peers. Her post-graduation plans include attending college or university and pursue a career in education so she can inspire the next generation like her teachers have done before her. She enjoys spending time with family, friends, her cat Tom, and her toy poodle, Ozzy. Laura is escorted by Matthew Shire. Matthew is the son of Cliff and Julie Shire. He is a member of the Fannin County High School baseball team and is our numerous awards, including all-region varsity baseball player, two-time Rollins perfect game preseason All-American, varsity academic team region champion, treasurer for the United Community Bank Junior Board of Directors, and he is one of the voices of the Rebel Radio Sports Show. Matthew was also voted most likely to succeed by his peers. Matthew will attend the United States Naval Academy to play baseball upon graduation. The senior class also chose Bailey Sue Williams and Jake Hellstrom. Bailey Sue is the daughter of Mike and Carrie Williams. She is a member of the varsity cheerleading squad and has been the cheer captain for the past two years. She earned the United Cheerleading Association's All-American Cheerleader Award and won Fannin County's Dancing with the Stars competition. Bailey Sue was also awarded the Georgia Certificate of Merit and is a member of National Honor Society. She is a thespian in Troop 6952 and a member of the Star South Dance Company. She plans to attend college after graduation. She is escorted by Jake Hellstrom. Jake is the son of Mike and Jenny Hellstrom. He is a member of the National Honor Society and was voted most likely to brighten your day by his peers. Jake performed with the Fannin County High School Marching Band in Pearl Harbor and has been a member of the Honor Roll since 2016. Jake plans to attend North Georgia Technical College and major in computer science. The senior class also chose Hannah Cruz and Jake Watt. Hannah Cruz is the daughter of Stephen and Becky Cruz. She is a member of the National Honor Society and a member of the United Community Bank Junior Board of Directors. She was voted best all around by her peers and is a tutor at the Fannin County High School Writing Center. Hannah was also awarded the University of Georgia Certificate of Merit. She plans to be a speech language pathologist and support children in growing their legs up. Hannah is escorted by Jade White. Jade is the son of Kelly Wisner and Jason White. Jade was voted best all around by his peers. Jade is an FCA leader, member of the National Honor Society, and a worship leader at Calvary Chapel in Blue Ridge. Jake enjoys playing the guitar, singing, and fishing. After graduation, Jake will attend North Georgia Tech and major in engineering. The senior class selected Amber York and Grant Sullivan. Amber is the daughter of Kenny and Angie, Angie Tankerson. Amber serves as the vice president for the United Community Bank Junior Board of Directors. She volunteered over 100 hours at Fan Regional Hospital and successfully completed the National Academy of Future Physicians. She is proud of attending the Future Docs Abroad in Vietnam as a student. She is a member of the Edward Baptist Youth Group and enjoys spending time with her family and friends. Amber plans to attend college and major in biology and organic chemistry. She plans to pursue a career as a gastrointestinal surgeon. Amber is escorted by Grant Sullivan. Grant is the son of Ryan and Jennifer Sullivan. Grant is a board member of the National Honor Society and is the president of the Junior Board of the United Community Bank. He is also a member of the National Technical Honor Society. Grant enjoys extreme sports such as mountain biking, snowboarding, and wakeboarding. His post-graduation plans are to attend the University of Georgia and major in chemistry. He will then apply to the dentistry program in hopes of becoming a dentist. Before I announce this year's homecoming queen king, I would like to introduce the reigning homecoming queen, Miss Kelsey Walton. Kelsey is the daughter of Ron and Tanya Walton. She is currently studying at Modern Foreign Languages at Kennesaw State University. She hopes to travel and translate for a company that travels all over the world. 
She is currently working at a children's play center called Catch Air in Marietta. In her spare time, she likes photography, constant library visits, practicing the guitar, ukulele, and working on fitness. Kelsey will crown our 2019 homecoming queen. Cash and Katie Eight are assisting with our halftime crowning ceremony. Now I will announce the Fannin County High School homecoming king and queen. The 2019 homecoming king is Jake Hellstrom. And now, and now, the 2019 homecoming queen is, is. Hannah Bruce. Let's give our entire court a round of applause for representing Fannin County High School. Let's give one more round of applause for our entire homecoming board.
Okay, welcome back here to Fannin County High School Stadium as the halftime festivities uh, winding down. And congratulations to all the winners down there. I was uh, trying to get names and Coach Chastain, uh, uh, the head uh, ladies basketball coach, second year coach here at high school. So did you get the names? You know? Yeah, actually, uh, the homecoming king is Jake Hellstrom. Awesome. And the homecoming queen is Hannah Cruz. Well, congratulations to them both. I was trying to get those right quick and people talking on both sides. I'm looking, trying to get back up here. But while we've got just a minute, I'll just tell you real quick, 28-7 Rebels are up really big right here, playing a great game, and they're still in the locker room. So we got a couple minutes. So I wanted to grab Coach Chastain here, and let's just talk about a little bit about the Lady Rebels basketball. Upcoming season, have y'all just gotten started practicing, correct? Yeah, we uh, we started. We've been conditioning since the uh, week of Labor Day, 6 a.m., three days a week. There's me and, been a, me and Matthew do that. Oh, yeah, y'all up at 6 a.m., man. Yeah. Uh, I'm a 515 type guy. Oh, okay. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt uh, you. No, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, we, we started conditioning three days a week in the mornings and um, uh, the week of Labor Day, but our first week of practice was last week. So we're about six or seven practices in. Uh, because of fall break, you know, that Monday we give them off. That was the first official day, but a lot of people were out of town. So uh, we, we, we've had a good first couple of weeks. It's always a little sloppy in the beginning. You get them back out there, but they're they're rounding into shape pretty good, and we're really excited to get started. Well, I know you've got, uh, you know, a few returning girls. If you tell us a little bit about them. And, and, and also, did y'all get to attend camp this summer? We did. We actually we played 36 games this summer. We went to uh, – we, went, we did team camp at Union University of North Georgia. We went to Georgia College, Millie. and uh, we went over to North Murray. North Murray High School hosted a big tournament over there. So we were in four uh, We were in four camps this summer, played 35 games. We won 26. Yeah. Wow. Um, but I always say this, summer games and winter games are not the same thing. <laughs> but uh, we wanted to have a summer where we really challenged the girls to compete. They responded, so we come out of summer feeling really good about that. Awesome. So tell us who all you got coming back this year. Yeah, uh, Morgan Holt and Sadie Collins are our two seniors. Morgan was, uh, she was all region team kid last year. She's getting some college interest. She's a really hard worker. Sadie the same way. They're both going to be our captains this year as our two seniors and they've set a really good example for the younger girls. Uh, Abby Ledford, a junior who was honorable mention all seven AAA team last year. Um, Becca Ledford, Mackenzie Johnson, two really fast guards that had really good summers for us. And there's a lot more. You know, we can't we can't sit here and go through the whole roster, but uh, we're really excited about some young kids that are coming on, too. Well, it's good. So let's talk a little bit about you. I know you came from down, you were down in Pickens. I was. Right? Down in Pickens County? Yeah. First job, I was 19 at Lumpkin County. <laughs> and uh, I was lay coach in there as a JV coach. Then I went on to do men's and women's college at UNG for a little while. I was there for five years coaching. Then I did business for a few years and then got back in at Pickens before uh, coming back here last year to be the head, head women's well, coach. Well, I know it was happy to, you know, you got all the family ties here in the community, so I know it uh, has to be great. And mom and daddy gets to come out and see you. That has to be great for them. I see smiles well, on their face all the time. Well, what I love is that Lady Rebels DNA that's in the program. You know, <laughs> it hasn't gone anywhere. I got some second generation kids. You know, Reagan York's mama was Shannon Dillinger. Yep. I got, uh, Sadie Collins' mama played for Johnny. There's a lot of DNA and pride there. I love that. You well, know, that's, that's something you can't you can't coach that. You can't yeah, build that. Yeah, that's be exactly. There. That's a lot of history right there. You know, all those girls were coming out of the farmer teams back in those days, and uh, so you know, there's been a legacy of, of Kelly like, Ware. That's yeah. Abby Abby Ledford's mom. Yep. there's a lot of them. Yeah, that is correct. So a lot of good DNA in there. So you know, and uh, we were talking a little bit earlier. Was I had Mr. Henson, athletic director, up here. We were just talking about you know, last year was your first year. Now you're getting relaxed a little bit coming into the second year. Then Coach Richardson, you know, it's going to be his first year. Mm -hmm. So how are you and him interacting a lot? I mean, you know, I know he's kind of... <laughs> well, we was interacting in, in the visitor's gate tonight, well, really? taking up money, but we, we work really well together. I, I, I really didn't know Brian that well. Uh, we kind of crossed paths here and there for the last five or six years, but never really knew each other. But he's been great, man. He's really come in. Uh, we went together a couple of weeks ago over to the rec, mm -hmm. you know, to sit down with Eddie. And, like, we just want to build, like, a strong community of basketball here. And he really wants to get involved. He has two young kids, one that's a middle schooler, uh, one that be playing at the rec this year. So he's really invested in the community. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we're building here from the rec level up, we'll be doing a coach's clinic uh, next Saturday morning for any basketball coach that are coaching at the rec. We'll be doing a clinic out there from 10 to 12 
So, uh, you know, a lot going on, real busy, but, but but good busy. Well, and that's where it starts. You know, you don't, you, do, you know, if you get lucky and come in your first year and you just, you know, you had some good success, I know, last year. But it does. It takes a good four or five years. you got to develop that, that rec league, get them in middle school, and keep them all in the same system. Yep. You know, because I know in the past, they were, you know, you just, your middle school running two different offense defenses from that. So it's good when you can get that program in at the rec and really start them. And, you know, first few days of practice, you're clicking. Yeah. Everybody well, knows even what's going on. even one year in, uh, me and Coach Anderson, Tasha Anderson at the middle school were on the same page last year, and where the freshmen are stepping in, kind of their knowledge of what we're talking about, just terminology, if nothing else. That's it. You know, makes things e that that much easier, even after just one year. Well, Coach. Well, great. Hey, appreciate you stopping by. Gr good luck this year. Uh, wish y'all success. We'll be out there watching all those games. I hate you didn't win the ten thousand. I didn't that's either. All right. that's you know, right. but uh, that's the way it is. But good luck. We'll be talking with you later on let me say one thing yeah. before i get off uh november 14th is a thursday night we're going to be hosting murphy that'll be our scrimmage game awesome. so that'll be the first time we're playing wow. basketball we got it on a thursday because hopefully we'll still be playing football too thursday night yeah. gonna be what seven six, uh, six? girls at six boys at seven awesome. thirty thursday night right here at fannin county high school the date again november 14th don't forget november 14th so we'll be here to, to kind of kick out back that'll be great coach good luck best to you we'll catch up with you later all right i appreciate it all Thank right you. so as the teams get back out here they already got to warm up. We're getting the clock, getting the teams ready out here. Rebel's going to be kicking off, if I remember correctly. That is correct. Right, yes. Right. So we'll be kicking off to the Indians. Rebels with a good lead. You know, 28 to 7, you think that's a big lead. You don't want to take nothing for granted, but let's hope. But while we got a second, I do want to tell you about you need to join the 2020 Census team. You can apply online. Go to 2020census.gov forward slash jobs. They're looking for a lot of great folks, great jobs, provide a great pay, flexible hours hours weekly pay and paid training so you definitely want to definitely want to get get that uh, I know they're looking for workers and stuff now this is the year of the census so Rebel's going to be kicking off here and we're going to get things underway we'll get our lights turned back down and you're listening to us on 92.7 WXFC as we get to kick off it's going to come down they're going to pick it up about the 26 yard line oh we just missed a tackle right there they're going to get up to about the 35 we had somebody come listening we may have yeah injury. Carson Beavers came flying down the field imagine that Mr. Fast himself. So I thought we had an injury there to one of the Indians. He went down on the turf there a minute, but luckily he hopped back up. You know, when you go through these change of seasons like this, you get this cold weather. That's you do. Uh, you know, a lot of these kids don't understand how important a stretching is, especially coming out in this third quarter. You don't get good and stretched out this little cold. You can. Get a muscle, get a hamstring. You know, I know that's what Cahuta's out with, I think, right now is a hamstring yes. injury. So let's see if we can play some defense right here, guys. Indians going to be taking over first down and 10. Uh, first and 10, ball's going to be on the 34-yard line. Kirk's going to be in the uh, shotgun, going to take it, going to fake oh. Dowdy, got a quick man open, and bam, he gets hit. Completed pass, going to get the ball up to about the 30, see what they do, 39. A quick five yards, good pass. Uh, yeah, Carson on the tackle there, uh, read it pretty quickly, um, was right on the receiver when he caught it. So uh, I didn't think they'd really got that many yards. I had to no. commit it. But the quarterback kind of tripped over his own feet there for a second. I, 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 didn't, I thought he might fall. I do that sometimes. Do, do you? Awesome. Second, second and five. I like that. <laughs> Kirk back in the shotgun. He's a little bobble right there. He hands off to Daddy. and we wrap him up. Yeah, we got yeah. it. They bobbled the snap there for just a, the exchange, not the snap, but the exchange to, to Dowdy right there. And got and so who uh, was able to capitalize, going to lose a yard, so that's going to bring up third and seven. Looks like for the Indians. Just trying to uh, make sure I got that. Uh, yeah, Bo Jack Dowdy. How would you like to have a name like that, man? Bo Jack. Bo Jack. Bo Jackson? No, just Bo Jack Dowdy. Mm. So you got to pronounce it all the way out. I like it. Who is that, by the way? Uh, he's the running back. Oh, why are you, you just now? <laughs> I just didn't put the Bojack. I just put Dowdy in there for you. Oh, so, I the whole time it's Bojack Dowdy. Yeah. So Kirk back to looking to throw. He's got a guy open on the corner oh. and get a completed pass up to about the 45. Going to be a first down for the Indians. <laughs> nice play. Yeah, nice very play. nice play. He got the ball completed over there to uh, number 12. That was going to be Caleb Norrell uh, for the Indians. Not so, bad coverage on that by Carson again. Yeah. It's just a good pass. And, well, he's just stepping back here and, and just slamming that ball in there quick, getting it to it before we can get our coverage up. So we're playing a little cushion there. You throw a few more of those we're gonna to have to come up play that a little tighter and you may can get a pick out of it so i like that I like ten, the way kp thinks 10 minutes 40 seconds going to a cool night here at fannie county high school stadium 
Did we get all of our technology going back, guys? No. <laughs> Setzer's up here trying him, and Nelson's back here trying to figure out. So we hand off right there to Bo Jack, Ooh. and he gets hit hard. He gets across back to the original line of scrimmage Mosley. right there. Maybe get a well, – and he uh, – I was trying to thought we were <laughs> thought we had somebody heard. I got Nelson back here at the radio. I'm hearing what I just said about 10 seconds ago. I didn't know what was going on. I like it. So got it all fixed. So we're back live on ETC a little bit. And most of it fixed. Most of it. <laughs> most of it. So okay, we'll just, we know we're on 92.7 and we know we're on Fan Rebel TV and we might be on ETC as the Indians is second and nine here on about the 46 yard line. And Kurt back looking to throw. He rolls out, got a pass, go completed pass. Good pass out there. Look, going to be a first down. Yeah, we, we, um, it looks like we had some miscommunication on the back end right there. Uh, the corner stayed with one receiver, and safety was back going and covering that receiver as well. But the underneath guy was left, obviously, so, wide open. So the ball is going to spot about 44. Hey, the Indians come out throwing the ball here in the third quarter. Looking good. You know, I was always say it's not who wins the first half, it's who adjusts the best at half. Yeah, they were, they were very run heavy in the first half, coming out throwing it several times. Now. Yeah, that's already three three quick completed passes right here on us as they get the ball in our territory. Ball's on the 44, clock down 9.54. They put Bojack come up. No, not Bojack. Handoff number 17. He's got a big hole on the right-hand side. He gets four or five yards over there before we bring him down. Hey, they're moving the ball. Yeah, they got a great drive going, opening up this yep. third quarter. They get inside the 40 down there on our 40, so it looks like they're going to spot it on. Yeah, they're going to spot that ball on about the 37, and the Indians quickly up to the line, not giving us no time. So they got twin receivers out here on the left. Bojack comes up. They're going to hand off to number 17. Another big hole is going to be a first down. Still, and still, oh, yeah. still going. First down number 17. That's going to be Drew Allison for them. That's two or three carries right he's there. He's a big boy. He is. Well, he uh, he's coming in. That's 6'3", 210. Now, I've got the 210 covered. I just don't have the 6'3". Now I brought in Miles Johnson. Hopefully he can big, stop that, that big run. Miles, that yeah. middle, middle run. It's funny. you got Logan right there on the nose. He's got Tug on this side. This is a big D line we got in right now. So let's see how they're at. So first and 10, and they're going to go back to oh, there. Oh, big Miles, Miles, Miles stuck his hand. Look at them. They still want to go. Is that Tug down there? Yeah, Tug, he's not going to take anything off uh, anybody. That's uh, a great thing about him. He's got a persistent attitude. It's persistent. Good. Yeah. Glad you didn't ask me to spell that either, but that was a big word. Second down and 10. Per minor. Persistent. So second and 10, balls on the uh, 29. Where's minute. Andy when you need him? Yeah, uh, well, he's in warm weather. So uh, here we go. Kirk's back looking to throw. He's looking to throw. He pump fakes, rolls out on the left-hand side, comes up, throws a long ball. He's got a guy open in the end zone. Did it he complete. get it? Oh, we busted up. He was open for a second. Good D back there. Who was that on D? JoJo. Yeah, JoJo busted that up. He was open. And uh, good Haas pass. was back there, too. Yeah, good pass by Kurt right there, trying to get it to the receiver. And luckily, we got a hand in there and got the ball down. Or that, was, that was number 12 uh, up there for them. Caleb Norell again on the receiving. Miles is coming out right now. It's going to be third down. Well, I think I wish we would have left him in there on third down right there. But let's see here. Third and 10. Kurt's back in the shotgun. We got Bojack moves up on the right-hand side. Kurt back looking to throw, looking to throw. Got a guy, incomplete pass. Guy really wasn't open. We had pretty good coverage on that side. He tried to get a ball over here on the left-hand side. So incomplete. That was a great stand by our defense. You know, they had a good drive going. So decisions, decisions. Fourth down, third, you're down. You're down 21 points. You're in 30. Yeah, yep, I'd be going for it. KP, did you ever get that source to tell you how many yards uh, Traylon had? I actually did not. I looked, but you know what we're going to do right here in a minute? We're going to send somebody on a mission to find out. We're going to find out here, but I am a firm believer. I think he's reached his thousand yards, which is, is good. Even though, what did I say, 149? Wasn't it? What yeah, I he's over yeah. there. Yeah. Four, fourth down and 10, so Kirk went back in the shot. Kirk back in the shotgun. We're going to have a timeout. Timeout. Mm. 
Timeout Lumpkin. So they're going to think about that big fourth down play right there. Yeah, fourth and ten is huge um, right here. Critical point of the game. So y'all keep talking a second. I'm going to go find out how many yards Traylon's got. Okay, you did that. And while there's a timeout, I'll give some updates on some scores. Yeah, are you going to do those right now? Let's hear the scores first. Yeah, you like scores? All right, All right let's see what we got, Austin. Well, wow. North Hall. Um, well, I'll start with it. Dawson in Cherokee Bluff, 38 to 3. I guess you know who's on that one, right? Dawson's up. Wow. East Hall, North Hall. North Hall is 44 to 0. And uh, obviously we know we are 28 to 7. Uh, big, big score here. Gilmer's up on Richland right now by a touchdown. Wow. Uh, that, that was at halftime. To Gilmer County. That is. That is. Um, and right now, let me switch over. Oh, South Pittsburgh is 36 0 on Copper Basin. And Union is way up on Social Circle. Uh oh yeah, so perfect time and I get back fourth down stance here for the Indians. Got a man in motion. He's going to roll out a little pitch. Oh, oh they fumbled, fumbled it. Fumbled it right there. They picked it up. We got guys coming on. Going to be a big loss uh, for the Indians. They tried to convert on fourth down, and our defense said no. And Micah. Then, Micah. And then also we had, uh, was that Reese in there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so the ball's going to go over. Ball's going over here. Good defense by the Rebels right there. Very good. Very good. Rebels going to take over the ball. Let's see where they spot it here. Going to spot us on the 37. Went and talked to Coach O'Neill. And what do you think? I'm going to say we're, 163. We're all wrong. He said he only had 110 at the half. No. Wow. But I, who's I, counting those yards? I don't know. So first down and 10 for the Rebels. We've got twins out really? on the left-hand side. He had like – Yeah. Here we're, we're, we go. Hand off to Traylon, and he just – Well, he just went past he's that. Got, he just got a big run right there. He's still, he's, still he's still rolling. So he just rattled off about 40 yards right there. Let's see, 10, 20. Well, he had, he he had got, four yeah, of those runs in the 30, first half. Yeah, he got 35 I yards. somebody's math I think right there. Yeah. Well, you know. You know them O'Neills, you know how they are out there in that mobile math. So you never know. Mm, <laughs> never wow. know out there. So big run by Trailer Noise, but big first down rebels into the Indian territory right here. Ball is gonna be on the 39. We'll quick up to the line and eye formation. Holloway under center. Hand off trailing again. Right hand side. Got some room. Fighting to get out. So oh, face mask. No and call. they didn't no wow. call on face it, mask. They missed that one. Yeah, he missed it. He, I call it up thing, here. So, his head turned right. Yeah, that's I mean, awesome. It was one of those that's incidentals, bad. but it was still a face mask. Come on. But trying mm -hmm. to drag him down there for a minute. So Rebels up again. Real quick. First down. Holloway under center. We're moving rapidly. Hand off trailing again. They pop him right there to the line. He gets one or two yards. Still fell forward. Fell, yeah. fell forward. Positive said, gain. He always gets one to two, three yards after contact. So got two yards on that. Going to bring up second and eight. Ball's going to be spotted on the 21-yard line in Indian territory. Seven minutes, 58 seconds to go. Rebels with the lead, 28-7 but knocking on the door nonetheless. Yeah, so everybody's wanting to know. Yeah, maybe we'll get Holloway up here. Maybe Clay Holloway can go find he out. He definitely can count. He's, yeah, well, Holloway Math, Maxwell Road, you know, you never know. We'll see. So <laughs> Holloway under center down here. We got, uh, looks like Mosley's going to go out here as a little receiver on the corner. Trailing in the backfield by himself. Quick pass out to, is that Bevin? Oh, Bevin's yeah, wide open in the end zone. Going to be six, yard, six points right there. Good quick pass. You know, they had Trailing alone in the backfield, so they were keying. I seen that guy going straight towards Trailing and Holloway with a great pass. We, we really, oh, hey, we did our own investigational work while you were gone. Yes, sir. And we know why the lights didn't flash the last two, uh, or the first two touchdowns. Yeah, I can tell Holloway you was too. involved in it. Holloway was or wasn't involved? Holloway was involved. He was yes. out. He was deer hunting. He was late for the game. Oh, there you go. So anyway, so good, good pass right there. The kick is. Let's see, Miss Osby, got to catch everything up. This game's getting faster, and I can talk. So extra point attempt of Miss Osby is good. So the Rebels going to take a 35 to seven lead here in the third quarter. Seven minutes, 27 seconds to go, and a coach just uh, somebody just got knocked down down there. Thick pin. Was that thick pin? Yeah. He jumped every bit of one foot off the ground down there and that made him he jumped four foot then didn't he five foot maybe yeah something know. like that what y'all laughing about it back over there but anyway uh, a little excitement on there so you did your own investigation and what did y'all find Oh, we, we oh. found well, why, why the lights didn't flicker the first two touchdowns? Holloway, who, Clay Holloway, the is he in charge of that? The missing in action the first yeah. two touchdowns. He was poaching deer. 
No. no. Is that what you said? No. no. Never do that. No. Oh, no. Okay. I was just checking. No. He was scouting. He was scouting for future, probably fox hunting or rabbit hunting or something. Yeah. All right. So here he we go. Late. Let's going to be the kickoff that. from Miss Sosby. Little boot going to bounce along the ground. It's going to come up. They're going to pick it up on the 27. Straight forward to go. We got a hand on him. He stumbles up to right at the 40. So. Indians going to take over the ball on the 40-yard line. Rebels back on D. Mm. So this game is rolling along here. Oh, uh, yeah. Man, I'm out of breath. Are you? Yeah. you ran, where'd you run to? Uh, I just run in my mouth. Not that anybody cares, uh, but Union it was 41-6 to six at halftime over social service. What's that? Mm. How close over to 1,000? That's what we're trying to figure out. They said only 110. We think he's over, but we'll see. Next big thing I'm going to announce. Well, we'll, we'll try to find her out here. It has to be. Uh, well, if he was at 110 at halftime, he's probably already got another, what, 40 yards, Matthew? Yeah, yeah I would think so. So that, that, they're going to say he has 120 yards in. All right, so <laughs> here we go, Kurt. Quick pass out on the right, complete number 15. He gets that three to four yards. Good little pass. So Indians have become a passing offense this second half. They very rarely I think threw the ball. they only ran it one time this half. Yep, yep. So they're, that, can, uh, that can be very good for them. It can be very bad for them. So we got. So we got. So now we find out it's 2:30, and you just told me a story there, O'Neill. I went over there. So I see, two, see, I knew we were right, Matthew. O'Neill math. O'Neill oh, yeah. math. All I can say. So here we go. So 230. So handoff. Ooh, uh, somebody to, got to the back right there. Dowdy tried up. to get up, and man, he got hit hard. So there you go. I think the official word is trailing is officially over 200 yards tonight. 230 yards. 230 yards. That's what I'm saying. So that will put him above a thousand yards for the season which is a great feat for a running back uh, from Fannin County. That's a great feat for a running back from anywhere, but uh – there's still a lot of time left. A lot of time, time left. But, uh, yeah, we'll be interested to see how much, how many more times he gets his hand on the ball tonight. But here we go, third down and four for the Indians. Ball is going to be on about the 46-yard line. I knew he had to have more than, what, that 110. I didn't think he was that high, but that's good for him. Uh, the receiver, they tried to throw the ball out there, and the receiver stepped, I mean, kind of slid down a minute. So, incomplete pass. So, it's going to bring up fourth down again. And uh, I think they've decided it would be – smart to punt. Punt, yeah. Punt. Six minutes, yeah. two seconds to go. And we're like, well, what? they were way off. I yeah, knew maybe he meant right. the first quarter. Maybe so. <laughs> yeah, maybe he meant the first quarter. That would be about right. Did that include that last gash run that he yeah. just had? Did yeah. that include that? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. So uh, fourth down for the Indians, fourth and four. They're in punt formation. Ball's on the 46. We've got uh, – who we got back to receive, Bivens. guys? Bivens. Uh, Bivens. 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 Back, Bivens or Bevins? Bevins. 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 So good little oh, wow. punt right there by the Indians. Bevins going to take the ball, fair catch, on the 25-yard line. Not the 25-and-a-half, not the 26-and-a-half, definitely on the 25. So Rebel's going to come out on offense here. Let's check out who all we got, see if we got uh, like we still got most of our starters in there. Let's see. I see Traylon back on the field. Big Miles yeah. out there and here comes Mr. Holloway. So Rebels up 35 to 7. We got plenty of time to start running the ball and putting some more. I wonder have we ever had a 300 yard rushing game. Now that know. would be well, a we good We might feat. see it tonight. This yeah. Could be the night. Jake Sands has checked in at fullback number 28. Good deal. So we're going to hand off to Traylon again. Traylon got a little room and gets just about a yard up through there. Hmm. So we're going to bring up second down and should be nine. Let's see what they're going to do. Good call. Got any good comments over there, KP? I'm sitting here trying to look and see what we got here. They still uh, a lot of people agree the call was or they missed was a few calls on there. Yeah, bad call. they agree. Somebody at finally Courtney Turner is agreeing with me. That was a very bad call. Thank you, Courtney. I have me and you both. I think that was a bad call. So second down and nine for the Rebels. Holloway under center. Eye formation going to come back. Uh, Fake to trailer looking to throw. Got pressure coming on. Got a guy open. Good pass complete to Beavers on about the 39-yard line. For first, down. first down. Yep. First down for the Rebels and good pass and catch right there. Holloway to Beavers. Five minutes, 14 seconds to go. Uh, they're going to mark it back on. Just because I said 39, they're going to mark it back on 38. They know I'm still <laughs> mad at them. No, I'm still mad at them. And right here when I'm looking through this window is several big fingerprints that makes my job a little tougher. 
we're going to get that. So we put, got a little man, Reese flip-flopping here, Holloway under center, heading back to trail it. Oh, wow. Hard lick right there. That was a helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit right there. Let's watch. That trailing got up. Those, uh, him and a big defensive lineman right there. You see trailing adjusting his helmet. Like, mm. man. What happened? Well, yeah. they hit headgear to headgear. That was a hard lick. I mean, it wasn't. Yeah, he's. Look at him there a minute. He might ought to come out of the game just a second. Uh, I think he'll be all right. He's, uh, to he's tough for nails, I know. He's an orange bee, but still, that was a hard lick. Look at him. He already broke one helmet, I think. Well, so Maybe that's it. Well, maybe he's just adjusting something. I don't know. He keeps grabbing that head, but he's looking to – we'll give him a breather. Holloway looking back to throw. we got a man open, wide open, Beavers. Oh, oh no, could not hang on to it. Tried to reel it in down here on the 25, had his hands on it. Just could not pull it in. Good throw yeah, by Holloway. Great throw. Yeah. Uh, effort on that catch. He had it in his hands and just went wow. landing. Wow. I thought that was going mm. to be right there. So um, mm, that would have been nice right there. Beavers, Beavers just almost wrote it in. So that's going to bring up third down and nine. Third and nine for Rebel Balls on the 39. And you're listening to us on 92.7 WXFCLP and watching it on Fan Rebel TV by way of YouTube. Holloway back by himself looking to throw. Along got plenty of time. Gets a little pressure now. He's going to flush out of the pocket. Going to take it himself. Big run. Big run he's got down the sideline. First down. Got into Indian territory down around the 40. For the You know what? Holloway's got 75, 80 yards at least, I yeah, think. He's had, he's had several good runs mm -hmm. of getting outside the pressure. Yep. Well, you know, he, he was back there alone in the backfield, and uh, he recognized Trey it. Trey on his third helmet tonight. Really? Yeah, he just took somebody else's helmet. <laughs> so we got somebody, looks like number 11 over here for, for the Rebels. Is that Andre? Yeah, Andre Bevins is hobbling a little bit on ankle. He's down on the ground, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. It's playing free safety too, isn't he? Yes, yeah, he is, yeah, yeah. So we cut it out and Bevins there. That could be a, something we've got to watch. So Holloway looking to throw, going out to a little flare out out here to is that trailing? Oh, uh, that's Sands. Uh, Sands. Oh, Sands. Got, we've got a flag, flag on the play, but got up to the first down. Good run after the catch. Let's catch the penalty. Probably call a hold on that receiver out there on that far side. It's a, a guess. Defensive holding. Offensive. Offense. Well, you said on holding on the receiver. Holding. Oh, oh good call. Yes. I thought you were saying they were holding their receiver out there. No. So let's see. I'm sure they're going to take the penalty. Surely. Surely. Let's see. So that's going to bring you it like up. You like that, Austin? <laughs> I like it. Pronunciation. <laughs> so let's go and mark it off back here 10 yards. So the ref's going to try to decide. He's going to put it over here on the like hash. The ref's hobbling off. I know. Tell you what, maybe he's a little bit injured. He's a little stiff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's what happens when you eat too many of those Dairy Queen blizzards. You get a little stiff. Oh, yeah. Probably went halftime. This back judge didn't get one, though. So, anyway, here we go. First down and 10. First and 20 for the Rebels. Hand off to Mosley. He gets hit hard right at the line. So, no gain on the play. Well, maybe we did get a yard out of it right there. Looks like they gave us two yards. Two yards on it. Very so, generous. Well, it, we got one and a half, so they give us the other half. So there we go. So it's going to be <laughs> two. That blows my mind. It's going to be I second like down and what? 18. 18. 18. Oh. Yep, second and 18. We've got three minutes, 18 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Got to get us a second down. Yep, going to be, we've got to get us a first down here. We've got a long ways to go and a short time to get there. Holloway back to throw, looking to throw. Got a little time, got a guy open across center, incomplete. Trying to get the ball in there to, is that JoJo? Who was yeah, JoJo. JoJo. Trying to get it into JoJo and then the ball was a little bit underthrown. Just a hair bit, so he was trying to turn around and struggle to, to catch it, get back on it there a little bit. Going to bring up third and long, third and long. Yeah, here they come running in from the field house with another helmet. He, he stole, uh, that's 50, I don't know if that was his or if that's, yeah, you know, say Traylon may have stole, stole the helmet from him. Well, Traylon, yeah. I don't, Traylon's not in the game right now. I don't know where he's at. Yeah, he's split, he's split out right there. Oh, is he split? Yeah, yeah they've got him out there. I stand correct. He's coming across the middle. Right, Holloway got pressure looking to throw. Deep ball. He's got uh, oh. Reese open but overthrown. Reese was uh, just striding a little bit. Didn't think that he was going to get the ball. And by the time he tried to catch up with it, Holloway had already chunked it a few yards past him down there. But uh, So it's going to bring up fourth down, a punting situation here for the Rebels. 
Two minutes, 55 seconds to go in the third quarter. You know, Luke, he, he can punt the ball pretty good. Yeah. I mean, he, he really can. I wouldn't be surprised if he pins him back here. He, yeah, that's he, what he, was, he's like one of those that can kick and it'll turn over in the air and come back. It's, yeah. He's pretty good. I was talking to Uncle Brandon about that with him the other day. He said, you know, he told him if he'd spend a lot more time punting than quarterback, he'd – Chances are better. Oh, he almost got blocked punt there, but Holloway got it off. Good kick. Yeah. Ball, they fair catch down on the 15, but Holloway got some pressure, but got the kick off. But he did have to pull up that leg just a little bit because that yeah. guy almost got into him. That would have been an easy way to hurt a knee. Glad that didn't happen. So two minutes, 55 seconds to go. Indian's going to take over the ball. This head ref is struggling a little bit. He may have had too many DQ grilling chills <laughs> at the half because he is a uh, – oh, it's just cold. It's just cold. It's cold. I'm so, but I am glad that you have us on the inside. Yep, we talked about that today. Men, Austin, men, Matthew, time, do we want to be outside and hear all the noise and the game atmosphere and be cold, or do we want to be inside, nice and warm, hear each other better, technology we, we better? We made the right decision being this nice uh, climate uh, control. Climate control. In the nice warm room. Yep. And we got the window open just so we have enough. <laughs> Here we go. The so we're going to be first down and 10 for the Indians. Ball's on the 15. They're going to – Flip flop their back, going to hand off, fake hand off to Dowdy. Got pressure on quarterback. He's rolling out. He's looking to throw, but he's going to get pinned down over and maybe get a yard or so before we bring him down. Yeah, you had Tuggle in big pursuit from the backside there as he was. And so, um, anyways, it was. You're not going to get effort. away from Tuggle many times. No, he. To be a D lineman, he's pretty quick. Yeah, Did I understand like, correctly you're not going to be here next week, Matthew? That is correct. How is this show going to happen? Because I'm not going to be here either next you're week. You're not going to be here? There's a football game in Athens. Hmm. Andy's going to be here. We'll figure it all out. He can talk to himself Andy for a while. Andy can. He does that. <laughs> he does, with, he does. With, with and without medication. <laughs> so second down and nine. Second That's nine horrible. for the Indians. Uh, they're going to hand off the doubt. He's trying to find some room on the left-hand side. Beavers gets a hand on him, and then somebody else jumps on, piles on, and Tackles him down. Yeah, so. Logan, Logan Long there on the tackle. Little Logan Long? Little Logan Long. Little, Triple L. Uh, Triple L. He's, he's kind of short and big and a little bit lower to the ground. He's kind of built my speed. Yeah, he's, so he's a tank. Third and, uh, third and six. Third and six. Minute 42. Clock winding down here in the third quarter. And the Indians taking their time in no hurry. Rebels up by 28 here in the third, 35 to seven. Kirk back, puts his back back in there. He's gonna roll on this left side. Got a little pressure on the back. Got a guy open, gonna be incomplete. Right through his hands. Run out of a little greenery right there, so he couldn't uh, couldn't reel that ball in. Yeah, Austin Blue on the coverage there. Number one is in the game now. Go so getting so we're getting some new, some fresh kids in there, getting a little playing time action, which is good. Uh, see, I see uh, 49 Andre, Andre back in the game, so it must just been a little little twist or something of the of the ankle or the knee. So luckily that was that's good news. We didn't need anybody else hurt. Yeah, 49 checked in right now. All right, so it's going to be fourth down and six for the Indians. They're in a punt formation. Here's a good opportunity right here. Get a little return. We can yeah, we can hold them if we can if we can hold them up here on the line. Give him a chance to catch that. Let's see what happens here. Uh, they've already got a guy oh, oh, down. Nice had a, had a good kick. So uh, yeah, gonna have to let that ball roll. Get away from that ball. Wow. Yeah, Bevin's getting over there close to it. Good punt. The ball's gonna roll down about that was 41. An punt. It rolled to the 40 and a half, but they're going to mark it on the 41. So it's going to be a minute 18 in the third quarter. Rebels going to come in here on offense, leading big here in the third quarter, 35-7 to seven on the so, cold night. So is that – you'll never have to do a um, – Measurement. Measurement, yeah. yeah. There's, there's That's no what is speeding the game no up. Speeding the game up. Mm. 
Well, considering who the chain gang is, I can understand why they made that rule. They might be upset, though. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. They might why be they upset. did. Makes right, their job so easier. First down and 10. First down and 10. A little quick pitch. Uh, he turns around a little quick pitch, but oh, they're going to force Traylon way back. We're going to get some negative yards on that. Was that Traylon? No, it was Traylon. He's back under 250. Man. So, uh, yeah, they eat that up. We didn't have any blocking on this right hand side, and they come and eat that up real quick. So it looks like our technical uh, folks here has got things back up and going thanks to Mr. Setzer and Nelson here. They're in there sorting wires and cutting wires and plugging things in and splicing wires, splicing wires. and nobody got electrocuted so I didn't have to play EMT <laughs> up here tonight. So 43 seconds to go in the third quarter. We're going to have a, maybe a timeout by the Rebels here. As we got a little time, it's a great time for Mr. Painter here to talk about our great sponsors tonight who support us on 92.7 WXFC. Yeah, yeah we'd like to thank uh, Blue Jeans Hey, Pizza. I got a trick for you. Read it from bottom up this time. Oh, okay. We'll try something different. Switch it up. Uh, thank you to United <laughs> Community Bank, True Fitness Georgia, uh, Tri-State EMC, Trailer Drive-In, Town & Country Furniture, Swan Drive-In, Super Clean Car Wash, Steve Tucker Realty, Susan DuPont, Nathan Fitz, Brian Tessarera Realty, Messier's Orchards, Qantas Club Blue Ridge, Kevin Painter Insurance, Fannin Regional Hospital, ETC Security, Fannin Empty Stocking, CrossFit 30513, Brotherhood Oil, Gracie Barra Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Blue Ridge Coin Shop, Blue Ridge Barber Shop, and Blue Jeans Pizza. Thank you to all of our sponsors. Oh, good job. You even, you know, I put, have to read it from the bottom up. That makes, makes it, it a little tough. tricky. It does, tricky, especially tricky. when you get to the Gracie Barra. I've been trying to Gracie get that Barra. right. And let me look at that. Yeah, Gracie Bear Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. That's yeah, I can't my say favorite. that. I always have. So, first and no, second, second down and long here for the Rebels. Holloway's looking back to throw. Takes the ball. Got pressure. He's going to go down. They got a guy on him and he's trying to get away. Oh, our line. We've got a bunch of fresh young guys in there on the line and they are not holding that defensive line. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we've got a bunch of new bodies down there. Yeah, they just subbed Jackson Weeks back in. I seen for that. Jackson there. Was that was that into, Miles? No. Uh, oh. Who's that coming out of the game? No, it's in the that quarters is. coming up. Oh, so they're going to get him a water break. So yeah, 14 seconds winding down here. But yeah, we're going to have to. I know we're trying to play a few subs in there, but they are got us back to third and 26. Third and 26 as the clock winds down here at the end of the third quarter. Rebels got a commanding lead here, 35 to seven going to be going into the fourth quarter here so good opportunity here let's just talk about what we got you know we got big big bad GAC in here next week and the recruiting uh, the recruiting phenomenon yeah GAC. did I say that yeah I okay. guess I did maybe I'm telling the truth KP so, have you heard anything on a new, a new region or anything for next year nope have you heard that I mm -mm. hadn't heard a word. Well, why'd you ask me? I thought you, well, you know a lot of information that goes along. Uh, yeah, I know a lot about, I know a little about a lot. I don't know a lot about a little. I, you, you know, I just heard that we might be dropping down a little bit, and so uh, we'll see. Uh, might be in a new region. Yeah. You know, and, and honestly, it's, uh, we are playing some, some teams that, just simply on numbers of students and, and of that, it gets very difficult for us to compete. You know, we had that opportunity to drop back several years ago, and I th uh, we didn't take it. Union took it. You know, the downside of that, yeah, they're playing a much more competitive to their ability, but they're driving two hours, two and a half hours. So that's something Georgia High School Association has got to work out. They've got to level these teams in, in their areas. You can't have kids driving two, two and a half hours right. and, uh, and, and coming like that. So, uh, Especially basketball season. Yeah, Rebels take a long, third and long. He's looking back to throw. He throws one deep. Got a guy open. Oh, at the last second, the ball gets knocked away. We had a guy open. Somebody's going to be hurt there for a minute. Took a hard lick. Look like JoJo. Is that JoJo? They're trying to help him up, and he's trying to hurt. Sometimes you just need to let him sit there on the ground. So, uh, yeah, he's hurt. Just stay on the ground, son. Get back down on the ground. There you go, ref. You should have did that a minute ago. I know the guys, even the defender was trying to help him up be nice, but when you got a kid hurt, leave him on the ground for a minute. You don't want to jerk him up there. So our trainer, Mr. King, and a couple of his assistants getting out there to check. So who is that that's injured there? JoJo. 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 Uh-huh. JoJo Goodwin. JoJo. Now that's uh, – 
Hey, Indeed. Laney. Got Miss Laney Painter in here with us now. Well, since I look around and Austin's gold, and it just, yeah, <sighs> you're saying your hair's cold, everything. Hey, put on the headset and tell us what yeah. you're thinking, Laney. We got four. We just want to add one more tonight. painter to the conversation. Yeah, we overpowering the queens. The Arps are not here tonight. We're down in warm, <laughs> warm territory, so he's still down on the ground. I didn't see really what you know what the injury was. He had two guys on him. He was open there for a second. I think the guy that came and broke it up kind of hit him right in the chest, yeah. and I'm probably not. Maybe out all yeah, it looks like he'll be all right. Knee or something. No fun to get a helmet in the chest. You know, big thanks. You know, we got Jeremy King. It's always helping take care of the kids. But Dr. DeRucci uh, comes out here a lot. For, you know, he's orthopedic out at Fannin Regional and uh, comes out here and volunteers and, and really takes the level of uh, protection of these kids. And it's nice having a doctor right there on the sideline. Of course, our good folks here at Fannin County EMS, we always have ambulance present. And these guys like to come out here and watch football. I just man. feel safe when you're here. And do you really? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, well, see, you know what? I'm coming up on my 37th year doing that crazy stuff. Yeah. I've run a few calls today. But here, Holloway back to punt. Going to get off a good oh, punt. Yeah, oh, that, look at here. Big Holloway Boomer had right turned there. it over. Going to drop oh, it back down to 34 that. and going to roll. Going to roll down to about the 20. Oh, so let's mark that. He, he punted that from the 15. Ball turned over and rolled. I mean, it got a good bounce. Don't get me wrong, but that ball landed on the – up here around the 33, yeah, 34, yeah, I think. Yeah, that was, uh, I told you, he had it in him, man. All that right, was so awesome. count up that math that's right here. I see that. It's going to be 15. Why do do that? 25, 35, 45, 55. That was at least, that was close to a 60-yard punt with the roll out. It was even a little bit more than that. He punted that ball 50, 60 yards right there. That's awesome. Wow. Yep. Yeah, we got a lot of younger guys getting in the game right now. Um, is it so, Carson? Um, Collis checked in at free safety right now. Yeah, we got a bunch of them. So get us some numbers on those. We want to recognize these kids that get in there. It's 11 minutes, Carter 54 Man. seconds to go. Carter, Carter Man's over there at this left corner. Is that him, number 14? 10. 10, yeah, <laughs> 10, 14. <laughs> Same, kind of close, just a few off. So it looks like you also may have a few subs in here for Lumpkin. Yeah, they got a new – no, the quarterback's uh, still the same. So big Dowdy coming up through there pounding. Nope, that wasn't – it's going to be – Yeah, we got Allison. a lot of – Allison on the run. Allison on the run, pounding up through there. And he's getting up a little slow, maybe. Yeah, defensively now we've yep. got um, a little bit. Jake Sands is in on the defensive ball. Ethan Mann is in on there as well. Um, I'm just going to look at some numbers. So it's going to bring up second down and one. Braden Foster's in a defensive uh, end. So second and one for the Indians here. And uh, see what the looks like a whole new unit out there, don't Yeah, it? Resendez is a nose guard. So here we go. Quarterback's going to hand off to Dowdy. He's getting around the left hand side. He is going to just get short, close. I think. No, nah, I think they're going to mark it. They're going to mark it. They're going to give him the first down. He fell. He was close, but yeah, they're signaling. Mm -hmm. He started stumbling, but was able to fall forward to get that first down. Also, uh, Levi Cochran is in as well, a freshman. Laney, was it cold down there? So you so, yeah. decided to come up and join your uh, daddy, your, your brother, and Mr. Queen, Mr. FCA, Mac Queen, yes. here with us. Yeah, let's Great just call job. It the painter clan. <laughs> <laughs> Are you nervous? No, no I'm not. Uh, here we go. First down and 10 for the Indians. They're going to do a little quick pitch out there to number t 17. Gets him out. He gets 7 8. Oh, probably may have fell for the first down. Oh, Got a flag. So yeah. Probably going to be a late hit against Rebels trying to force him out. But you yeah, A lot of good effort right there on that play, but. Yeah. Some of our young guys. You get your young guys in there. They're wanting to make a lick. They've been waiting for those opportunities. Just don't realize they just give them a probably good 15, 15 yards. yards. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Big game tomorrow. It's going to be happening at 3:30 tomorrow in Jacksonville. The dogs taking on the Gators. And the dogs a six-point favorite. I am still amazed at that. Now, don't get me wrong. I wish we were 25-point favorite, but I don't see six points in that game. You got the number 16, Florida, against the number 18, Georgia, and we're picked to win. How about that? So, as the refs dogs. marked off that 15, big, long 15-yarder. I'm just going to say that's a bad call. Bad call. Yeah, bad call. Let's blame it on them. So, it's going to bring that ball into Rebel territory. The ball is going to get spotted up here on about the 44, 43-yard line. So, first and 10, Indians. 
lot. Like I said, I think we got our whole second or third string D out there right now on some of it. But nonetheless, it, they got to get some good playing time. Hand off to 17. He gets left hand side, gets three or four yards, gets up the middle before we can bring him bring him down. These guys are doing pretty good. I mean, yeah, they're holding up well considering that's their first team offense out there. Yeah. For yeah, was, I keep referring to him as 17. You'd think I'd memorize that name of Drew Allison, wouldn't I? Allison. Allison Allison. Allison. Allison's kind of a name up around Union County a little bit, huh? Yes, it is. <laughs> That's all you're going to say. Second and five. Second and five for the Indians. Board says second six, and I think that's right. Look, second five, second six. So a little shuttle pass out here to 17. He's got a hole up center. We hit him, but he's going to, oh, we almost, one last guy got a Collis got a hold tackled him. Collis him there. got a hold of him. He was about to go. Allison just about got loose and was headed. If he, Collis wouldn't have got him, he'd have been mm. trucking it. <laughs> Collis took a hit on that, man. Did he really? It took yeah, a, that's a big boy coming in through yeah. there. Oh, yeah, he's 6'3". Uh, he's six, two, three. six two ten. <coughs> You got the 210, but you don't have the 6'3". Six, 6'3". Three. Three, I think two, I've ten. heard that one before. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I got 210 covered well. <laughs> Very well. So that would mean me at five, nine, and three quarters. But we have to round up, <laughs> so that makes me five and ten, just like they do on that. Oh, gosh. So Kirk back to throw. He's throwing a little pass on the right-hand side. He's got a guy open. Good catch right there. We forced him out around the 14, or he ran out. We didn't – I guess you'd consider we Stepped forced out. him. Stepped out. Under pressure. Number 31 for the Rebels out there defending on that. Constantino. Kind of pushed him out, so Indians big first down. They're inside the 15-yard line. They're threatening here in the third quarter. Nine minutes, 16 seconds to go. Rebels still with a big 35-7 to lead, but the Indians are trying to change that. Let's see what happens right here. Flip-flopping, a bunch of players are flipping their tight end. Over, so another little shuttle pass, and Ooh, boom, he comes hit. in. Good hit. Who was that? Reese. Right there? Big Reese come yeah. in and ducked that head and took on that guy and brought him down. Good. Reese. He, don't, he ain't scared of nothing. Mm -mm. He, uh, Great play. Took that guy and hit on. sophomore. Big kid. Well, it comes Pressure from first. good genes yeah. of Reese's. You know, his, his brother Jacob still playing up Carson Newman. Yeah. Yep. 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 Got my Carson Newman sweatshirt on tonight. Look at you. I, was, I thought you were stretching because no, you were tired. No, you were no, 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 no. Who got you that? Jacob did. Well, there you go. Mm -hmm. Jacob might even be listening in tonight. If he knows, you know, how good a job we're doing tonight, he would be. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If he knew Andy was away and it was just me and you, he'd definitely be listening. Probably. I mean, who wouldn't? Exactly. Especially since we got guest announcer tonight. Special guest. Yes. We've had so guest. many guests. We, got a flag. we made up for the whole year tonight with special <laughs> guests. We got a flag. We got a flag on the play and we got a timeout with the Indians. The million-dollar question is going to be who is going to be behind the mic next week. We know Andy Arp's going to be here. Could be several several new guests. Several new <laughs> guests. Andy Arp and guest announcer next week. Uh, I guess, you know, with all this technology and YouTube, I could probably sit there in Athens at the RV with YouTube and do play-by-play. -play. I would like to. I would like to tune in for that. It might be about 20 seconds behind, but you never know. But uh, so then, let's see, let's see if we got any updates on scores while we're waiting. Yeah, check out. I'd like to see that Copper Basin score. What's going on South Pittsburgh? Maybe since Laney's up here sucking up the uh, heat, mm. maybe she could check on her phone D to guess that. Dawson is up on Cherokee Bluff, 52 to three. North Hall. What was uh, Dawson again? 52-3. Wow. Uh, North Hall, 44-6 to, 44 to six over East Hall. Gilmer, 20-7 over Ridgeland. Wow. Big game. And then my phone froze. Froze up. You on Verizon at TNT? Verizon, it just froze. Uh, I was well, going to get that copper base. That's Lenny. Lenny locks that. So uh, it's going to be second and ten. Second and ten for the Indians. Uh, oh, we got a little mix. Got a throw. Got a pass. Guy wide open in the end zone. Touchdown, Indians. Good pass there by Kirk. Got it into number 15 for the uh, – no, it wasn't 15. Who was it? Mm. Couldn't see that number. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's hard to see. I know so, he's, he's not 6'2". He looks to be about 5'9", but he made a good catch. So six points there by the Indians. They're going to be attempting the extra point, or they're kind of looking like, are we going for two, or what do you want us to do, Coach? A little confused right here. 
Oh, mm. no, we're going to line it up and do the extra point. So eight minutes, nine seconds. Indians find the end zone, and we're going to attempt the extra point. Here comes the snap, and the kick is up, Ooh. and the kick is good. We've got like some we pressure in there. there. Yep, almost got a little block yeah. on it. So with eight minutes, nine seconds to go, Rebels still take a big lead, 35-14, as the Indians put seven on the board. Hey, quick quick on that Copper Basin game. Uh, you wanted to score it. Mm -hmm. South Pittsburgh is 56. Ooh. <laughs> Let me get the Copper Ooh. Basin side out. Ooh. Uh, Copper Basin is six. Ooh. They're ooh. so negative. All of the, I don't even have negative. To. It's just cold weather. I ooh. was like, ooh, it's, I got a little chill when you said that. Yeah. Just a little chill. Well, tough, tough loss. South of Pittsburgh always plays, plays the tough. Yep. Are, that's a long drive for Basin, too. In South of Pittsburgh, that's on the other side of Chattanooga yeah, on 24. Way down there by Alabama. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So the reason it's called South Pittsburgh. <laughs> Well, Pittsburgh's up north. That's the one I know. You know, it's <laughs> we're just getting off 15, 16 hours away. Eight minutes, nine seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Indians going to be kicking off to us here. We got in the backfield. Who we got back here? Number, we got Andre got Bivens and looks like maybe Carson Beavers. <laughs> and and um, Tra Mr. Traylon up. Yeah, Traylon is the next the up guy there. on the 25. Well, I'd like to see Traylon get another big, big run or two. I'd like to get, see him get his 16 yards back. Yeah, well, I've never seen anybody in high school get 300 yards. That could be something unique. All right, so Rebels take the ball at about 18. We got it. Carson Beaver's got it, and he's streaking down the right-hand side. He's got room. He's going to put his head down and get across the 50. Oh, We've got a flag. flag. A late flag. Uh, yeah, let's see what that is. That could be a hit out of bounds, late hit out of bounds maybe. Uh, it's looking. Let's see what like, it is. But like good return by Carson. Carson got about 40-yard uh, 40, 40 return right there. He picked that up around the 15, I think. Let's yeah, they're going to call holding against us? Huh? No, really? I see holding out there. I'm just guessing. How I'm not, I'm not saying. How do you? I mean, golly, that, just, that play was running so fast. I don't know how you could call a holding on that side. I know. They're just trying to keep us out of the end zone. They just want this. Yeah. I think if that ref would have been, I think uh, if that ref would have been up that far, he he's minus. He he's over 200. Announce it. Announce it. Oh, wait, wait, make sure he don't lose 16 like he did. Well, on. no, he only had to have 162. It didn't okay. matter. So here we go. We're going to have uh, first down and 10 for the Rebels. And that was uh, yours truly, Mr. Timmy Tao, doing the announcing here for the Rebels, coming over and seeing if we had updates on Traylon. Traylon is over uh, his 162 yards he needed uh, to get to his 1,000 on the season. And a great job. I think he's well over 200, according to our last chance. So and he's going to get his hands on the ball and get three or four more yards again before they're able to bring him down. Get and the crowd goes wild. He just okay, wait a minute. Did y'all hear that? I heard a, I heard a bell. Yeah, there's some uh, some bells out there, and you know, you just never know what I might have in here with me. We can always bring oh, the Lord. bell. Oh uh, <laughs> Lord! I forgot kinda, about it. Kind of bounces off the walls. It. There in we here. go. So second and eight. Second and eight for the Rebels. Balls on the 45. Holloway under center. Going a quick pitch to trailing. He's got room on the left. He's got one block right there. He gets inside. 10, 20, 15 yards up through there. 10, 15. Uh, it yards never went down. Got, it never went down. He he was uh, playing the old grass drill right there, yeah. keeping that balance. That's why. Is that why we did just do that stuff? I, I, now that I realize. Just, I never yeah, knew. Now and I just finally proved to me that that stuff works. So Cheatham giving uh, Traylon a big hug that's right awesome. there. And, hey, that's a great feat, you know, 1,000 yards in the season. But you know how he gets 1,000 yards? Means he's got good blockers out there. Uh -huh. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's good, good ability, and he earned many of those yards on his own. But you don't get that way without having some good guys uh, getting him there. Oh, we got a little extra action by Bevins there. We got uh, handed off to – who is that we got running the ball now? I think Traylon oh, may be done. Caleb Postel. I, Caleb Postel. I thought Postel was out for some reason. He's back. He broke his foot, but he's back. Okay. I thought he was still out tonight, but I'm glad to see him back. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so Traylon may be done for the night. I bet he's going to sleep good. Sleep good. <laughs> he and he don't, out all that running. And he yeah. don't even have to stay at a Holiday Inn Express, right? Yeah. So yeah, here we go. Second and nine. Second and nine. Holloway's under center. I don't know who we all got in the game, but they're looking as confused Postel, as all. Yeah, they're looking. Time. They got the flag. Mosley's still at fullback. 
Yeah, Mosley's still at fullback. Car all right, so we're going to hand hand off to the tailback here, and he's got a good run. Got five, six, seven yards over there. Who did we say it was? Uh, Caleb Postel. Caleb yep. Postel, Postel, junior running back for the Rebels. He's pretty fast. Well, that's good to see him out there running after a broke foot. I mean, just to get to come back from that in the season. What are you laughing about? You didn't know what I was going to say, did you? Uh -uh. <laughs> you never know. I don't know what I'm going to say sometimes. Uh, that's just that's the scary part. Six minutes, four seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Holloway's going to look, take the sneak. He's going up center, picking him a hole. Still going. Got a few hands on him, but he's still going to get and he gets hit and pushed out of bounds over about the 25-yard line. Good run by Holloway. Holloway, I think. I he's got to be 100 yards. Right? Yeah, he's, I think, I'd say he's over I think he's down. over 100. So uh, good, good run right there by them. Getting some Mosley's coming out. Mosley, we're shuffling people in left and right. Looks like we got Jake Sands lined up beside Luke in the backfield. Uh, we yes. got wideouts. We got all kinds of stuff. I don't even know who all we got in there, but that's good. Holloway's going to take it again. A little quarterback sneak. He's trying to find it. He's got a hole on the left-hand side. That left's been open all night. He's going to get forced out about the 15-yard line before he's pushed out of bounds. So good run by good run by Holloway right there. So we're going to be th ball inside the 15-yard line. Yeah. Yeah. Luke's running good. Um, I guess his backup is Reese now. Yeah, Reese or – Let's see. They, yeah, it just took Holloway out of the game. No, he's, yeah. coming, but he's coming back. They, they they shuffle over here to get their plays. I was trying to take a quick look here and see. I was trying to find our players of the week last week. I forgot to write those down as I was looking for my message and getting those. And can't find them right quick. The Kevin Painter Insurance Players of the Week. But here we go. Five minutes, eight seconds. Going to hand the ball off to the tailback. Who's Who we got running the ball? Cade there? Sands. Cade Sands. Got a, maybe got a yard. Before he got stopped, we'll see what they give him on the spot. Yeah, he got one yard. They're going to have to mark it. Yeah, so that's one of the reasons so they don't ever have to have any measurement out there. How about keeps, that? Keeps the game flowing. <laughs> that is, I didn't know that football was too long a game. I knew they were trying to speed up baseball, but here we go. Rebels threatening here. Second down, second 10. Ball is going to be up here on the 14 yard line. Holloway looking for the play. Got an eye formation back here. Going to hand off to Sands. Sands getting up into the center. It's two to three, four yards. Caleb Postel. Postel, my bad. They just exchanged. Exchanged. They're running in and out here like crazy. Has Tommy gotten a game yet? I have not seen Tommy. We might. Well, I can tell you when, Tom, when Tommy gets in the game, we'll know it. Mr. Excitement said, "Hey, I heard a live interview with Tommy Ledford this week." I, heard, I watched him on Fetcher News. Yeah, that's why I was. Yeah. I was hearing him, hearing him on that. I think coaches was nervous, didn't know what he was going to say, but uh, he did a great job. All right, so clock's winding down. Three minutes, 48 seconds to go in the fourth. Holloway under center. Going to look back to throw, looking to throw. Got pressure. Back, uh, he, he got ball got. Got tipped. He had a lot of pressure, and he tried to get it out there, and the ball got too much pressure. He kind of hurt his arm there. Yep, yeah, that's what I thought. He's shaking his arm out a little bit. Why don't we just go ahead and get our backup quarterback in there? Because he's playing receiver right now. I don't well, know. he's already in the game then. Right? <laughs> he's in. We he's got in. more receivers. He ain't got that many quarterbacks. Mm -mm. Don't have, yeah, because uh, Mashburn. He, he has, yeah, he seriously had a gr pretty bad foot injury that he's had surgery, and he's he's still in a boot, and he'll start rehab in about a month, I think. So here we go, Rebels going to be fourth down, going to fake it, looking to throw, throws into the end zone, got a guy incomplete, plays busted up in the end zone. Was trying to get the ball in. Was that Beavers? Here comes Tommy. No, oh. that was Reese. Was that Reese? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to – seen – thought about So, Tommy – Tommy Ledford is in the game. Tommy Ledford is in the game. Watch Tommy go here in just a minute. So, three minutes, 34 seconds to go. Rebels, 35-14, fourth quarter, and a very cold night. A few of these fans checked out of here early, but we still got a – Good little group of folks, the faithful standing here near the end. So let's keep our eyes on big number 36 nine, degrees. Big number 90, Chilly. Tommy Ledford Chilly out night. there. Big yeah. number 90. 
I just six. want you I want yeah. you to keep your eyes on Tommy Ledford and watch what happens. He'll be going sideline oh, to sideline. He will. He never lets up. 35-14 up there. He's going to be lined up on this left-hand side. He's looking for somebody with the football, I promise you. So here comes the snap. He's getting in there. He puts a little pressure on the quarterback. Oh, good play right here. Got the little quick pass out to the tight end. Player? Who made that tackle? Cause did. Campbell that Constantine. Cause. Oh, that was a good good defensive play right there by Campbell. Oh, yeah. Got that ball out, and he, he stood that receiver straight up and got him down one-on-one -on -one right there. Good play. So that's second down and 10 for the Indians. The Indians pinned back here now on about the 12 yard line. You know, it'd be cool. Tommy just bust up a play here, get, get a, a little touchdown. sack, get a little, yeah, get yeah. a little interception or a little fumble and take an end zone. He'd be running from side to side. And I know his daddy would be too. So uh, anyway, so here we go. We've got a new quarterback, it looks like, for the Indians as well. Yeah, going to hand off to Dowdy, 35. He gets up three, four, five yards, gets up in the center. And look who's on the tackle, boys. Tommy. Tommy is Ledford, and he him helps up. him up. Tommy, now you don't have to be that nice. <laughs> Two minutes. Yeah. See, Tal, I got there quicker than you did. Timmy Tal finally recognized who made the tackle, and I, I caught it way ahead. So somebody's coming in. The guy, I think Tommy just checked out of the game there for a second. Clock winding, two minutes, 18, 217. Going to be third down and about four for the Indians. They got a big quarterback. Good Lord. He's bigger than me. That's big. Good little pass. Oh, oh he tipped it into his hand. It's deflected uh, by a rebel defender, but fell right into the Indians' hand there. So it's going to be a first down. First down. First down right there for the Indians. So back us up a little bit on defense right there. Where'd Tommy go? We need Tommy back in the game. Really? He's down here talking about what all he did. He's already down here discussing. I think down here at the end. <laughs> yeah, he's like, wait a minute, dude. Let me show you how to do this. First down and 10 for the Indians. Clock running minute 47, 46. I'm still wondering who's going to call this game next week. Indians going to take the... You got, got a little man in motion. Quarterback going a quick pitch out to their back, get him on the left hand side. We got somebody in pursuit. Good oh, tackle great, right great there. Pursuit. Who was that? Let's Check see. out that mass man. 28, that's Sands. 28. That's Sands. Sands, yep. Good tackle by Sands. He came in on pursuit and busted through there and made that tackle one on one pretty much. Clock minute 17, 16. Look, like Rebels going to get a good win here tonight. Well, I know they're going to get a win here tonight. 35 14 as the clock continues to run down. So, going to be a good read. Win for Forest going to put us into the playoffs. Now, I know that first first round of playoff, we've got what I heard of probably a pretty bad Cedar draw. Shoals? Uh, no, Cedar Grove. Cedar Grove? Cedar Grove, I think. That's what I heard. Big time. Yep. Kind of like our announcing crew. Yeah. Big time. Yeah, there we go. So quarterback looking to throw. Big number 18. He's going to take it and run it himself. And I, big old boy running. Going to be a first down, get across the 40. For a first down for the Indians, I know he must be Billy. five, six, oh, Tommy, 24. Tommy Ledford is back in the game. He's oh, checked in. I want to check out. That's old Cooper Scott. He is 200-pound quarterback. That's like Kentucky. It's not like something Kentucky do. You know, they had Dustin Bonner now. Clock's winding down 31 seconds. But, yeah, that was uh, Cooper Scott, their quarterback. He is a freshman, 5'11", 200 pounds. <laughs> Clock running down 22 seconds. Could be the last play of the game. Quarterback's looking to take the, take the snap. Going to hand to Russell. Russell gets around left-hand side. He sheds a uh, blocker, sheds a tackler out there and going to get the first down. Nine Ooh, seconds left. Out of bounds. Going to, got out of bounds, so that's going to kill the clock. Going to give him a first down. Let's see. They'll spot it and move it up a little bit. Spot it and wind it. <laughs> I can't get over that. I'm so glad y'all told yards. me that. <laughs> Like, well, what? they just wound the clock, so here it goes. I don't. They're not going to get a snap off, so that was nope. fourth down. That's the game. That's going to be the going to be the game for the Rebels. So a good homecoming win here for the Rebels tonight at Fannie County High School Stadium. A good cold night. Uh, we've seen a lot of good things out of the Rebels. A big offensive show. Traylon Owens be getting over his thousand yards. Congratulate to to uh, Traylon for doing that. I hadn't got the numbers, but last chance we had, he was over 200. Well, well over 200. 
200 yards and uh, Rebels come out of here with a big victory tonight, 35 to 14. We'll be back here next week with uh, hosting GAC, which is a big powerhouse. They're 5 and 0 in the region. I'm sure after tonight they're going to be 6 and 0 and uh, winning big. So it'll be we'll have to play our best A ball game next week to do that. I know Mr. Andy Arp's going to be here with you. I don't know who else is going to be here with you, but we'll get all that figured out in a week. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe you. You could be up here. It could be Mr. Mathis. Mr. Mathis himself hey, hey, could hey. be become the guest announcer. But we appreciate you listening in to us tonight. You've been listening to us on 92.7, and uh, every now and then you got to hear us on ETC, but you definitely got to see us and listen to us. No, you didn't have to see us. You got to listen to us and watch the game live on Fan and Rebel TV. So join in next week as the game gets started here. Kickoff 7.30. Probably going to be started around 7.15. We'll announce that later in the week. Who Andy's guest commentator is going to be in here with him, announcer with him. But we appreciate you listening. Congratulations, Rebels, with the big win tonight. 35, um, 35 to 14. 14 was our final. And we hope you have a great weekend. Stay safe and go dogs That's and right. Rebels.